Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Sailing, the beginning of the abuse of the Knights of God. Chapter 61. The next day, before dawn. Lin Hao boarded a navy warship and headed for Bana Island. Bana Island was the place where Ace and Blackbeard Teach were defeated in the original One Piece. It was also the trading place agreed upon by the Yellow Navy and Teach. Because it had been discussed before, this time the transaction was led by Lin Hao and met with Blackbeard directly. Accompanying Lin Hao, in addition to the CP zeros that Lin Hao brought with him wherever he went, was Tautu, the candidate admiral of the Navy headquarters. On the surface, those guys from the Navy headquarters said that they wanted to give Lin Hao some face. After all, he was the new supervisor of the Navy headquarters. It was not too much to let a candidate admiral come to serve as a guard in person. But in fact, what the old guys in the Navy headquarters were thinking was. Lin Hao knew it clearly in his heart. They just wanted to see what the intelligence worth 5 billion baileys provided by Blackbeard was. If it was really as Lin Hao said, then this trustworthy candidate admiral could transmit the information back to the Navy headquarters in time. If what Blackbeard said was different from the information Lin Hao mentioned in the meeting yesterday, then the supervisor of the Navy headquarters would lose face in front of the alternate admiral. When the news was passed back to the Navy headquarters, no matter how privileged Lin Hao was, he would not have the face to point fingers in front of them. Although Lin Hao was unhappy about this arrangement, he did not object, because he was 100% sure that the information provided by Blackbeard would be about Ace's life experience. Before the time travel, the fans had been discussing who exposed Ace's identity to the Navy headquarters. It was definitely impossible for Garp, but the only person who knew Ace's identity was Garp and the core figure of the Whitebeard Pirates. Would there be such a person in the Whitebeard Pirates who would sell out Ace's identity? After thinking about it, only Blackbeard Teach had such a possibility. Although he was not the captain of the squad on the Whitebeard ship, he stayed on the Whitebeard ship for a long time. When Marco was still an intern, he had already joined the Whitebeard Pirates. And even without eating the fruit, it can leave scars on the corners of the red-haired man's eyes that are almost like psychological shadows. From qualifications to strength, Blackbeard is definitely a veteran figure on the ship. Many captains of some divisions have not been on the ship as long as he has. Even the position of Ace, the captain of the second division. It can be said that Blackbeard took the initiative to give up. It is not impossible that such a person knows Ace's identity. And in the transaction of handing Ace over to the Navy headquarters this time, Blackbeard dared to temporarily increase the price. In addition to the news that Ace is the son of the Pirate King. Lin Hao, who is familiar with the plot, can no longer find any possibility other than this news. On the warship, Lin Hao is still wearing the expensive and gorgeously crafted Justice Cloak. Good-looking clothes with a face that is against the sky. Coupled with the bottomless strength. Looking from a distance. If Lin Hao can relax his cold face a little more. That is definitely a girl killer. Looking at Lin Hao sitting at the front of the warship deck. Behind Lin Hao, Khalifa, the female member of CP0, and the alternate admiral of the Navy headquarters who was temporarily assigned by the Navy headquarters were all in a trance. If Lin Hao did not have the identity of the Navy headquarters supervisor, these two top beauties in the pirate world would definitely pursue him madly. This meeting with Blackbeard is of great significance to Lin Hao. Not only because Lin Hao is only a few thousand points short of the fear value, he can directly open the treasure chest reward. It is also because in Lin Hao's heart, there is a plan to take advantage of the war to thoroughly clean up the Navy. Lin Hao believes that in this world, the inevitable war will be more exciting and more shocking than in the original book. After a day and a night of sailing, several tiny black spots on the sea surface appeared in the field of vision of Lin Hao and his party. At this time, the navigator on the warship came to report in time. The warship was less than 20 nautical miles away from Bana Island. In less than 10 minutes, they can land directly on Bana Island. At the same time, on Bana Island. Several tall and strong men were sitting on the ground and resting leisurely. Next to them, there was a young man with freckles on his cheeks and covered in wounds, who was handcuffed with sea stone handcuffs. He lay on the ground and could not move at all. They were exactly the purpose of Lin Hao's trip. 
The pirate Blackbeard and his gang, as well as the captain of the 2nd Division of the Whitebeard Pirates, ace the Fire Fist, who they had just captured not long ago. Captain. The Navy is coming. Suddenly, while Blackbeard and his men were teasing Ace who was tied to the ground and couldn't move at all, the sniper Van Oka, who was lying on the roof of a dilapidated house, spotted the warship approaching quickly. Thief ha 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 ha. Finally here. Get ready for a surprise. After hearing Van Oka's news, Blackbeard's eyes calmed down and he looked in the direction his men pointed. At the same time, he did not forget to give Ace, who was lying on the ground, a hard kick. You fool. After being insulted like this, Ace, who was already covered in wounds, was furious. But at this time, he was already firmly locked up with seastone handcuffs, and he had no fighting power at all. Facing Blackbeard's humiliation, he could only yell and curse. Blackbeard didn't care about Ace's anger. Instead, he turned around and ordered Bujas, Du and others behind him to disperse quickly. Be ready for battle at any time. After all, although they caught Ace, they were still pirates after all. The Navy didn't need to talk about credit with pirates. As long as the time was right, they would go back on their word and kill them at any time. Although they had already negotiated the terms, Blackbeard didn't completely trust the Navy. As the Navy warships approached, the figures on the deck of the warships became clearer and clearer. When he saw that Lin Hao, Tautu, and a group of CP0 members wearing white suits were standing on the bow, Blackbeard's face became inexplicably sinister. They actually sent a woman and a child whose hair hasn't even grown out to meet me. The Navy really looks down on me. Since defeating Ace, Blackbeard's confidence has swelled to the extreme. Because the power of the dark dark fruit really surprised him too much. So he didn't take the Navy seriously. In the Navy, the only two better and strong men of the Navy that he could be afraid of, besides the three admirals, were Garp and Sengoku. Now, even if Whitebeard came to cause trouble for him, he dared to fight him directly. Originally, he thought that even if the Navy didn't send out those big guys, they would at least send a strong person among the vice admirals. But he never expected that these two people who came over were. I have never seen it. Of course, after defeating Ace, the Blackbeard pirates have been resting on Bana Island, waiting for the arrival of the Navy. It is impossible for the destroyed town to see the live broadcast of the Navy headquarters. The only way for Blackbeard and his gang to contact the outside world is the Den Den Mushi in their hands. This has led to Blackbeard and his gang being completely isolated from the outside world in the past few days. If this guy had seen the live broadcast of the Navy headquarters public execution of Spandam, he would not have underestimated the young man with a cold face standing in front of the A warship. Hey, Captain. The Navy seems to think they can easily control us, how should we respond? 593 inches. Like Blackbeard, the helmsman of the Blackbeard pirates, Badgers, also saw the figures of the Navy on the warship. He looked around carefully and found that he didn't recognize any of the Navy coming this time. At that time, he felt contemptuous. As long as the three admirals of the Navy headquarters and the two old guys didn't come. No matter who they are, they will never be the opponent of his group. These guys are not worthy of his attention. Thief ha ha ha. Since the other party is so childish, wouldn't it be a pity if we don't teach them a lesson? After hearing the question from his helmsman Badgers, Blackbeard's big mouth with several missing teeth immediately laughed wildly. I now feel that there is no need to give the Navy a 50% discount on this news worth 10 billion baileys. They look down on us so much, we should raise the transaction price to 20 billion baileys. Ha 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 ha. You're right. We should take this money and live happily. For a moment, the arrogant laughter of Blackbeard and his gang filled the entire Bana Island. Even though the warship was still some distance away from its destination, several people on the deck of the warship also heard the wanton laughter of Blackbeard and his gang. Seeing this scene, Lin Hao kept sneering. Navy Admiral Tautu kept frowning. As for the CP0 members behind Lin Hao, if they had not been told not to act rashly without orders, they would have gone over and fought with Blackbeard and his gang. For despising their benefactor Lin Hao so much, these CP0 only hoped to have a chance to teach the other party a lesson. A few minutes later, the Navy's warship dropped anchor and docked on the shore of Bana Island. Are you the Navy responsible for this transaction? 
Thief ha 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 ha, I wonder if you have ever seen a real pirate. Would you be scared to the point of peeing your pants? Ha 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 ha. As soon as the two sides met, Blackbeard expressed his contempt without any disguise. Looking at Lin Hao's handsome face, who was less than 20 years old, the words of this pirate who has been in the limelight recently were full of sarcasm. In response to Blackbeard's provocation, Lin Hao just sneered and did not intend to bother with him. After all, with Lin Hao's current strength, it is as easy to kill the opponent as to crush an ant. If a real fight breaks out, Lin Hao is really afraid that he will hit him with one blow. The opponent will be killed directly. Although Blackbeard has the blessing of the dark dark fruit, Lin Hao does not believe that he has the physical strength comparable to Garp. Lin Hao does not care much about this. But the CP0 members behind him and the Navy's alternate Admiral Tao to all have murderous intent on their faces. The CP0s can't bear to see their benefactors being looked down upon in front of the pirates. As for Tao to, it is simply to maintain the dignity of the Navy. We have brought 5 billion baileys with us. According to our agreement, I want to take Ace away. Of course, if you want to get the money, you have to tell me the information first. If I judge that the information is not valuable, then we can just trade it directly according to the original plan. Looking at the extremely arrogant Blackbeard, Lin Hao just snorted in response to him. Seeing that the other party had no intention of speaking the information, Lin Hao turned around and gestured to his men. The Navy soldiers behind him immediately stepped forward and wanted to take Ace, who was covered in scars, away directly. For Lin Hao, he already knew the information that Blackbeard wanted to tell him. Blackbeard's arbitrary price increase, Lin Hao really didn't want to pay any attention to it. Unless the other party could really say something explosive that even he, a fan of the original novel, didn't know. Ha 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 ha. Wait a minute, there are some changes in the current transaction. I suddenly felt that 5 billion baileys was too little. If you want to complete the deal, the price should be raised to 20 billion baileys, ha 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 ha. Just when the soldier was about to help Ace up and escort him back to the warship, a trace of cruelty suddenly flashed in Blackbeard's eyes. Then, as if it had been discussed in advance, Bajis behind him immediately stepped forward and punched one of the Navy soldiers who had helped Ace up. This sudden attack made Lin Hao's eyes instantly cold. He turned his head to look at Bajis. There was a terrifying murderous intent in his eyes that was not concealed at all. After sending the Navy soldier flying with one blow, Bajis was still laughing arrogantly. But suddenly, his body was involuntarily he felt a creepy feeling. It was icy cold and penetrated into his bones. It was as if he was being stared at by an ancient giant beast that could easily crush him to death like an ant. As a result, he turned his head and found that the one staring at him was the handsome young man who looked less than 20 years old. At this time, the two sides looked at each other, and a creepy sneer appeared at the corner of Lin Hao's mouth. When Badger saw this smile for the first time, his legs spun uncontrollably. He almost fell to the ground. At this time, his heart was completely filled with the sudden fear. He didn't even notice that someone was approaching him quickly from behind Lin Hao. This. What on earth is going on? Why don't I have the strength to stand normally in front of this guy? Finger gun. Six kings gun. The next moment, in front of Badgers, a human-shaped cheetah suddenly jumped out from behind Lin Hao. Before Badgers could react, his chest was hit hard by the opponent's two-handed finger gun. Pooh. This time, the unprepared Badgers was hit by the sudden appearance of Luchi and flew backwards. Blackbeard on the side obviously did not expect that the Navy would suddenly attack. These rude guys actually dared to disrespect Lord Lin Hao. You guys, you actually dared to hit my helmsman. The next moment, all the CP0 members behind Lin Hao and the alternate Admiral Tao Tu took out their weapons and took up a fighting stance. The Navy soldiers in the back even loaded their guns directly. The muzzles were all pointed at Blackbeard and his gang. As long as Lin Hao gave an order, they would attack at any time. The pirates took the initiative to attack the Navy during the talks. Don't mention Lin Hao. Even if any other Navy general came, such a thing would not end well. Look at Blackbeard again. At this time, his face no longer had the arrogant expression before. Blackbeard had never seen Luchi and others before. Seeing them wearing white suits standing respectfully behind Lin Hao. 
Blackbeard thought that Lin Hao, this young man, was just there to show off. He didn't expect that these people in white suits would make a move. One blow knocked his helmsman away. Although the opponent had a sneak attack, it could not deny the opponent's strength. How strong is Badgers? The captain knew it best. Not to mention anything else, in terms of defense and physical strength. Even if he was hit by a cannonball head-on, his helmsman would never be blown away so embarrassedly. The followers behind Lin Hao are so powerful, what about Lin Hao himself? Badgers has always been. He is fearless, and it seems that he was frightened and lost his vigilance just because he looked into his eyes just now. Who on earth is this guy? Why have I never heard of such a person in the Navy before? Thinking of this, Blackbeard has already understood that the other party is definitely not a soft persimmon that can be manipulated by his side. He just pretended to be tough and took the initiative to attack the other party. This time, their Blackbeard pirates have definitely hit a wall. Blackbeard stared at Lin Hao. Although he was shocked by the terrifying aura that Lin Hao just showed in a moment. But it was the crew members who attacked him in front of him. If he doesn't get this back, he will have no chance of survival in the future. These people seem to be very strong. But he already has the god-level dark dark fruit. There is no reason to be afraid of them. Since leaving the Whitebeard Pirates, Blackbeard's ambition has been completely unleashed. At this moment, there is no need for him to suppress himself. Blackbeard Teach laughed wildly. Then a dark mist visible to the naked eye suddenly appeared all over his body. And under Blackbeard's feet, there was a thick black gas with Blackbeard as the center. It continued to spread out in all directions. Dark acupuncture point. In just a moment, Luchi, who had just blasted Badgers away, was sucked straight into the vortex formed by the black smoke. Luchi, who had been subjected to inhuman training since childhood and had taken the animal-type devil fruit when he grew up, had a physical strength far beyond that of ordinary people. But at this moment, in this black smoke, he, who had always been known for his physical strength, had no ability to resist at all. Being in this black smoke, all his fruit abilities were ineffective. Even the strength in his body seemed to be directly drained. It was impossible to resist. He had wanted to. He went straight forward to deal with Blackbeard, and the expression on his face suddenly became very ugly. What kind of fruit ability is this? This black smoke vortex that is constantly expanding in all directions is the ability of Blackbeard's dark dark fruit. Within the range of this black vortex, anyone or object that is touched by the darkness will be sucked in and sink. And the most terrifying thing is that this black vortex also has the effects of compression and crushing. If an ordinary ability user is sucked in, there is absolutely no way for him to survive. Seeing Luchi sinking in the vortex, the other CP Zeros and the Navy's alternate Admiral Tautu behind Lin Hao immediately wanted to rush over to rescue him. But before they could take a step, they were stopped by Lin Hao in front of them. Dark dark fruit. How interesting. Don't move, let me do it. The next second, Lin Hao sneered. Facing the black vortex that was spreading under Blackbeard's feet, he did not dodge or evade. Instead, he rushed in first. Before Blackbeard could react, Lin Hao stretched out his hand and threw Luchi, who had already sunk half of his body, directly out of the range of the dark dark fruit behind him. Lin Hao was in the black vortex. The impact was extremely limited. After rescuing Luchi, he tentatively stepped on the black smoke twice. This black air was icy and piercing, and it also had a lot of suction. But that was the only effect on Lin Hao. Looking at Blackbeard in front of him, Lin Hao sneered and approached the other party step by step. Under Lin Hao's feet was a black vortex with an increasingly large range. Kings. But Lin Hao walked on it, but there was no interesting effect at all. This ability is okay for strong people with ordinary physical strength. For a master like him who can defeat Garp in a head-on confrontation, it is already the limit to be able to feel the effect of the other party's fruit ability. How is it possible? Looking at Lin Hao who was not affected at all in his dark cave. Blackbeard was finally a little scared. If he was not affected by the dark dark fruit, then this guy should not be a capable person. But he could walk so freely in the dark cave. How strong is this guy's body? Is his body comparable to that of the navy hero Garp? Thinking of this, Blackbeard gritted his teeth. The black gas coming out of his feet instantly became thicker. 
and the range of the black vortex became wider. This time, let alone the CP0 and Navy soldiers who were standing behind Lin Hao before. Even several of Blackbeard's crew members hurriedly ran out of the range of the black vortex. But in the center of the vortex, Lin Hao seemed to be unaffected and continued to move forward. A few seconds later, with a sneer on his face, he had walked in front of Blackbeard. You are just an ordinary person, why are you not affected by my dark dark fruit? Looking at Lin Hao with murderous intent on his face. Blackbeard was really panicked. The reason why Blackbeard did so many crazy things for the dark dark fruit. He was even willing to lie dormant in the Whitebeard Pirates for so many years. It was because he took a fancy to the dark dark fruit's supernatural regularity. The boundless darkness can restrain all fruit ability users. Although you will feel double pain when attacked by a power user. But the supernatural setting that can completely invalidate the ability damage is too tempting. In the pirate world, 9 out of the strong ones are fruit ability users. Even 3 of the 4 emperors on the sea today have eaten devil fruits. With such a god level fruit. Blackbeard is almost invincible in front of fruit ability users. Even if they are not fruit ability users. He can rely on his powerful physical skills to deal with them. In his eyes. There are only a few strong people who can make him afraid. But now, where did this guy who looks less than 20 years old come from? Looking at Lin Hao walking freely within the range of his fruit ability without being affected by anything. At this time, Blackbeard even suspected that his fruit ability had failed. Your fruit ability is indeed very strong. Looking at the panicked Blackbeard. Lin Hao said with contempt. But the fruit ability is not everything for a person. Did Roger, the former pirate king, ever eat something like that? While speaking, Lin Hao had almost come face to face with Blackbeard. Without any hesitation, Lin Hao raised his hand and punched directly at Blackbeard Teach's abdomen. Blackbeard has always had absolute confidence in his ability to withstand blows. But for some reason, facing Lin Hao's fist, Blackbeard suddenly felt a sense of fear that penetrated deep into his bones. In the past, he could easily take this blow with his fruit ability. But now, Blackbeard's instinct for survival told him that if he didn't go all out, he would die on the spot. Just when Lin Hao's fist was about to touch his body, Blackbeard gritted his teeth. A dense black gas emerged from his hand and instantly formed a small black vortex. Dark water. This is another move that Blackbeard is proud of. It can absorb the attack of the fruit power and directly invalidate the fruit power. It can also defend against powerful physical attacks to a certain extent. Facing Lin Hao's, careless, fist that was like a joke. Blackbeard gritted his teeth and waved his palm wrapped in thick black air to quickly meet it. The next moment, the fists touched each other. A terrifying sonic boom suddenly sounded between Lin Hao and Blackbeard Teach, which made people cover their ears. Then, in the shocked eyes of everyone, this person who betrayed Whitebeard Blackbeard, who defeated the captain of the 4th Division and Ace of Fire, Fist in the pirate group, screamed. His body flew backwards like a kite with a broken string. While Blackbeard was being knocked away, the men of both sides were all surprised to find that Blackbeard Teach, who was always known for his physical strength, had just used his arm to block Lin Hao's fist. At this time, it was twisted into a pretzel at an angle that went against the laws of physics. As soon as he landed on the ground, he covered his arm and screamed like a pig being slaughtered. Looking at Blackbeard lying on the ground and wailing. Age, Lin Hao smiled slightly. Sorry. Now you don't even have five billion baileys. You fool. How dare you attack my captain. Seeing Lin Hao walking towards the Blackbeard who was lying on the ground and howling miserably, step by step again. Just now, he was blown away by Luchi's six king spear. At this time, Badges, who had just reacted, was furious. It must be said that Badges's strength is another matter. But he is really loyal to Blackbeard. And no matter what kind of strong man he faces, this guy is stubborn. Even when facing Lin Hao, who blew his captain away with one blow, he rushed up without any hesitation. Seeing this helmsman who was almost frightened and fell down just by a glance just now, he rushed towards him without hesitation. Lin Hao admired this guy's courage. But now, Lin Hao has no intention of showing mercy. Since you dare to attack them first, you must be prepared to pay the price. Facing the huge fist of badges that was like a washbasin. 
Lin Hao said nothing. He directly used a regular lethal skill, the number. Two hit. It hit the opponent's fist directly. This blow was very clean and neat. Badges, the helmsman of the Blackbeard Pirates, didn't even have time to scream. Half of his body was shattered by the powerful impact of Lin Hao's fist. Even his head was blown off. In just a moment, this fighting champion in the original One Piece who could stand up immediately after being hit in the face by Garp's fist. Directly lost his life under Lin Hao's devastating blow. You. Who the hell are you? Seeing his most loyal subordinate being killed by Lin Hao in one blow, Blackbeard was frightened. Because he knew that Lin Hao had shown mercy when fighting with him just now. Otherwise, he would not have had the chance to watch his subordinate being blown up by the opponent. Such a level of physical strength was really incredible. Just when Blackbeard was shocked by Lin Hao's amazing strength, he seemed to suddenly remember something. Then he immediately turned his head and shouted at a tall building not far away. Fan Oka. Don't do stupid things. Bang. Blackbeard's reminder was a step too late. Because before he finished speaking, a slight gunshot suddenly sounded. Then, a small bullet wrapped with armament hockey exploded from Fan Oka's famous gun Chinlu. The target was directly aimed at Lin Hao's forehead. With his outstanding observation hockey, Lin Hao had already noticed Fan Oka hiding in the dark at the first time. In an instant, Lin Hao's right hand was wrapped with a very strong armament hockey. With two fingers gently pinched, he firmly grasped the bullet in the air in his hand. Please. Don't. Seeing the creepy smile on Lin Hao's face. Blackbeard, who had just been rolling on the ground, ignored the pain in his arm. He immediately got up and tried to stop Lin Hao who had already discovered the direction of Fan Oka. Ha ha. Since you think you can play tricks on the navy, you must be prepared to pay the price. Ignoring Blackbeard's exclamation, Lin Hao's arm spun a circle. In an instant, he threw the bullet in his hand back in the direction where it was shot before. An extremely terrifying sound of breaking wind rang out. Before Fan Ao Ka, who was lying in shock in the dark, could react, the bullet thrown back by Lin Hao had pierced Fan Ao Ka's forehead at lightning speed. Then, under the effect of acceleration, the high-speed moving bullet instantly blew its owner's head into a sky full of watermelon juice. A few seconds later, Fan Ao Ka's body, who had lost his center of gravity, fell heavily to the ground from the roof with a bang. Everything happened too fast. From Lin Hao rescuing Lu Chi from Blackbeard's dark acupuncture points to defeating Blackbeard and then killing the other's two men in succession. The whole process took only a dozen seconds. Showing such a powerful strength. The CP zeros behind Lin Hao and the Navy's alternate Admiral Tautu were suddenly shocked. Lin Hao's strength is really at a Euro S too strong. After the default, the black beard was solved. They believed it completely this time. Fang was killed. I agree to the original deal. Wrong. I don't want money. I will tell you the information I know for free. Please stop now. Seeing Lin Hao approaching him step by step. Blackbeard, with a face full of fear, trembled all over and kept retreating. At this moment, he regretted it in his heart. He actually despised the other party just because the Navy did not send a general-level figure. Why didn't he react before? After all, he was ace with a bounty of 550 million berries. How could they not take him seriously and send someone to make a deal with him casually? At this moment, Blackbeard kept retreating, enduring the pain in his arm. He just hoped that Lin Hao, the evil star, would not continue to attack. Finally, at Blackbeard's pleading, Lin Hao finally stopped. But just when Blackbeard wanted to breathe a sigh of relief, Lin Hao's cold voice made him lift his heart again. Tell me what you know. If it's not satisfactory, I'll be angry. Before the cold words fell, Lin Hao flashed to the side of Blackbeard with a six-style shave. Then he raised his foot and kicked hard. Bang. A muffled groan sounded. Blackbeard's fat and strong body flew backwards. It was not until he completely smashed an abandoned house in the distance that Blackbeard's body barely stopped. Lin Hao held back in this attack. Seeing his captain being beaten by Lin Hao again, the only two remaining crew members of Blackbeard were immediately furious. But as soon as they took a step forward, they were frightened by Lin Hao who turned his head and stared at them, and they dared not move a step. Lin Hao's strength was too strong. With one punch, he broke half of the body of badgers, who had the strongest defense among them. 
He even used the same long-range attack to headshot their sniper Van Oka. After calming down, Lafitte and Du, who just wanted to step forward to vent their anger for the captain, were suddenly soaked in cold sweat. What were they doing just now? Are you looking for death? Ahem. Puff. Now, are you satisfied? Finally, the disheveled Blackbeard walked out of the wooden house that had become a ruin. He wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth. But he didn't dare to say a hard word to Lin Hao. After seeing Lin Hao's strength, he had completely recognized the current situation. If he still dared to be arrogant with the other party, let alone complete the transaction, it would be a problem whether his people would be directly wiped out. Now he can only endure and wait until he gets the Whitebeard's tremor fruit as planned. Then he will get back today's place as soon as possible. The resentment in Blackbeard's eyes flashed away. But Lin Hao still observed this very keenly. But, Lin Hao was not angry. In his eyes, Blackbeard is still useful. It will be better to kill him after he is used up. Okay, what is the information you want to provide? Tell me now. Seeing Lin Hao looking at Blackbeard with an unfriendly expression. Navy Admiral Peach Rabbit hurriedly asked Blackbeard in a deep voice. Now anyone can see that the supervisor is in a bad mood. If Blackbeard dares to talk too much. Peach Rabbit is really afraid that this transaction will turn into a war to annihilate the pirate group. Actually. Ace is the pirate king goal. Ace is the only bloodline left by Roger. Whitebeard also knows about this matter. Blackbeard spoke very quickly. It seems that he was afraid that Lin Hao would continue to attack and hurt people. When answering this question, Blackbeard was answering while retreating. Now he has realized the disadvantages of the dark dark fruit. It is obviously a natural devil fruit, but it cannot actively transform into an element to avoid the opponent's physical damage. In the future, when facing a physical opponent like Garp, this is really a big trouble. No, this kid who looks less than 20 years old may be more troublesome than Garp. What did you say? After hearing the information from Blackbeard, Momosaki's pupils suddenly shrank. Then she unconsciously covered her mouth and took a few steps back. She was not shocked by the information provided by Blackbeard, but by the fact that Lin Hao had known about this news that was enough to shock the Grand Line. Of course, only the generals of the Navy who participated in the meeting had heard this information. The Navy soldiers behind Lin Hao were still in an uproar. After hearing this news, they saw Ace's eyes and became shocked in an instant. The blood of the Pirate King actually survived to this day, and became the captain of the second team of the Whitebeard Pirates. No wonder you want to raise the price. Tautu looked at Blackbeard who was retreating and trying to keep a safe distance. The mystery in his heart was solved. Kill me. I don't want to go to the Marine headquarters. Just as everyone was digesting this shocking news. Ace, who had been lying on the ground handcuffed by Seastone, let out a weak and desperate roar. The identity of being the son of Pirate King Roger has always been an eternal pain in his heart. Therefore, only a few people knew this secret. Now this secret has been completely exposed. For him who is determined to prove the value of his life on the Grand Line, it is really more painful than killing him. Ace is now extremely regretful. He regrets his willfulness in the past. He rashly came alone to clean up the mess without knowing the details of Blackbeard's strength. Obviously, his respected father Whitebeard and other captains they have been trying to persuade him not to leave the team and pursue. Why did he lose his mind at that time? Now, he has been caught. His identity as the son of the Pirate King has also been revealed. If nothing unexpected happens, the Whitebeard Pirates will probably go directly to the Navy headquarters to rescue them. How many companions will lose their lives because of his willfulness? Thinking of this, tears of regret burst out of Ace's eyes uncontrollably. He now only hopes that the other party can give him a quick death. Don't let your willfulness implicate other companions. But at the moment, everyone present does not intend to do so. The bloodline of the Pirate King has been caught by the Navy. This is a big event. See the violent for cool novels, go to Falu Novel Network. Closing parenthesis. How to deal with Ace should be something that all high-ranking naval officers can decide. What they can do now is to take Ace on board. Bang. Ignoring Ace's roar. Lin Hao just hit Ace on the back of the head with a knife and knocked him out. Afterwards, the soldiers immediately carried Ace onto the warship. As for Blackbeard and others, their treatment was not much better. 
if they had honestly chosen to complete the transaction with the Navy before, they might have received VIP treatment. But now it's different. They first regretted the transaction and temporarily raised the price. Later, they took the initiative to attack the Navy. Although the final result was that they were bloodily beaten by Lin Hao and two died. Important members. But Lin Hao would not tolerate these problems. He directly ordered the soldiers to put the remaining crew members of Blackbeard's group into a temporary prison on the warship. As for Ace, his treatment was slightly better. After all, he was seriously injured in the previous battle with Blackbeard. In order to prevent this guy from dying, Lin Hao also specially arranged for the ship's doctor in the Navy to treat him. Of course, there is no need to think about the Avalon scabbard. Lin Hao has no good feelings towards pirates. Letting you not die is Lin Hao's biggest concession. Night fell. Lin Hao was sitting alone at the front of the warship deck thinking about the next plan. Suddenly, in Lin Hao's mind, the familiar ethereal electronic sound of the system sounded again. Ding. Fear value collection completed. The fear value collected this time, 15,000 points. Treasure chest reward has been achieved. The fear value required to open the treasure chest next time, 2,400 thousandths. Whether to open the treasure chest reward immediately. Is it finally here? Hearing the system prompt again. Lin Hao showed a very satisfied smile on his face. After defeating Garp, Moria, and Blackbeard one after another, he finally got the treasure chest reward he had dreamed of again. Start now. Select the item category for the reward. Without any hesitation, Lin Hao opened the treasure chest reward in his mind. Ding. The host has chosen to open the item treasure chest reward. Treasure chest rewards opening. In an instant, Lin Hao suddenly felt a very strange energy in his body. Just as Lin Hao was wondering what kind of props reward he had received, the ethereal electronic sound of the system sounded again. Ding. The item box has been opened. Congratulations to the host for receiving the item reward. Stand in, White Snake. Props rewards have been distributed. The fear value required to open the treasure chest next time, 2,400 thousandths. It's actually a stand in. After hearing the reward notification in his mind. Lin Hao couldn't help but be slightly stunned. Stand in. This setting comes from the anime Jojo Adventure series. To put it simply, it is the embodiment of the soul's awakening of certain special abilities and spiritual power. As long as the stand-in is awakened, the ability of the stand-in is absolutely unique and can never be repeated with others. As for the stand-in white snake that Lin Hao just obtained, it comes from the sixth part of the Jojo series of anime Stone Ocean is the stand-in for the ultimate boss in that anime. The stand-in white snake has quite terrifying abilities. It has two abilities. First, it can make the target person's spiritual energy into a disc and take it out of the other person's body. The target whose disc is taken out will directly lose consciousness and become a vegetable or even in a state of suspended animation. If the consciousness is not returned, the body that has been extracted from consciousness will sooner or later die. And in this on the basis of the first ability, the stand white snake can also independently create a mental disc with instructions. If such a disc is placed in the other person's body, the instructions on the disc will become a task that the other person must complete in his subconscious mind. As for the second ability. That is, the other person's stand can be directly made into a stand disc by contacting the target person and directly extracted from the other person's body. Once this operation is completed, the stand user will lose the stand ability and become an ordinary person. The stand disc that is taken out can be placed on others at will according to the will of the stand white snake. So as to achieve the purpose of mass production of stand users. Lin Hao never thought that such a reward would be classified as a prop reward. At this time, Lin Hao suddenly had a bold idea. Can the stand white snake's ability to seize other people's stands be used in this pirate world? Luchi, Kaku. After thinking for a while, Lin Hao shouted loudly to the person not far behind him. Then, after feeling the strange energy in his body, Lin Hao summoned out his latest item reward, the substitute white snake. The next moment, a humanoid energy body with strange letters tattooed all over the body and looking like a medieval executioner appeared in front of Lin Hao. In the original work of the anime, Stone Ocean, the substitute White Snake has its own consciousness. But here, the substitute summoned by Lin Hao is really just a substitute of an energy body. 
it seems that it can only obey the orders of the master. It has no ability to think independently. For Lin Hao, such a result is not a bad thing. Without his own consciousness, it means absolute loyalty. After a while, Rob Luchi and Kaku, the two CP0 ability users who heard Lin Hao's instructions, came to Lin Hao. As for the substitute white snake beside Lin Hao, they walked over without even looking at it. Then they stood respectfully beside Lin Hao. People other than the substitute envoy cannot see the substitute in the form of energy body. The setting of, 637, is still preserved in the world of pirates. Excuse me, Master Lin Hao, do you have any instructions for calling us here? After walking in front of Lin Hao, Lu Qi and Ka Ku spoke in a very respectful tone. Lin Hao looked at the two of them. The corners of his mouth raised a little. I'm going to do an experiment to extract devil fruit powers, and this requires the cooperation of you devil fruit users. Extract the power of the devil fruit. Hearing Lin Hao's words, the two CP0 members in front of Lin Hao were all shocked. In their understanding, once a devil fruit is eaten, it will be used by the person who eats it for life. Unless the person dies, the same devil fruit will never appear again in the world. But now, the supervisor of the Navy headquarters in front of them actually said that the devil fruit should be extracted. This statement really shocked them. However, after seeing Lin Hao's very affirmative eyes, they immediately suppressed the shock in their hearts. Lin Hao is their benefactor, their boss and the person they respect the most. Now any task assigned by Lin Hao, they will resolutely carry it out without hesitation. No problem. If there is anything we can help with, we are willing to go all out. Looking at the two people who were determined and had no doubt or fear. Lin Hao nodded with satisfaction. Then he directly controlled the substitute white snake to walk behind Lu Qi. Although he could not see the energy substitute white snake, when the white snake walked behind him. Lu Qi, who was CP0 and had the domineering power of observation, suddenly became alert. Because he felt an unprecedented sense of crisis. His body couldn't help but tremble. Don't panic, it's just an experiment, it won't hurt you. After seeing Lu Qi's stress reaction. Lin Hao came out to comfort him. Lu Qi basically believed in Lin Hao's words unconditionally. After hearing Lin Hao's instructions, Lu Qi nodded and suppressed the fear in his heart. In fact, whether this experiment could succeed or not, Lin Hao was also very unsure. After all, the ability of the white snake is to make the substitutes of other stand users into discs and directly extract them from the other party's body. Although the devil fruit is the ability of the ability user, it is not a thing like a stand. But from another perspective, the devil fruit after being eaten is basically the same as the stand. After all, they all exist in the host's body in the form of magical energy. From this point of view, using the substitute white snake to directly make the fruit ability in the other party's body into a disc and extract it. Such a thing may not be impossible. Under Lin Hao's instructions, the substitute white snake came directly behind Lu Qi under Lin Hao's control. Although Lu Qi was scared, but because of the previous experience Lin Hao's instructions were ignored, so he didn't say much. The next moment, the slender hand of the substitute white snake reached directly into Rob Lu Qi's head. Because the substitute itself exists in the world in the form of spiritual energy, and there is no entity. So this operation did not show any bloody scenes. Just as the substitute white snake continued to gently stir in Luchi's head, he, as the experimental subject, felt that there was a magical power injected into his body through the back of his head. Then it quickly disappeared. Then, he felt that something seemed to be missing in his body. When he reacted, Lin Hao had a strange CD in his hand. The CD was no different from an ordinary CD. But on the cover of the CD, there was a picture of an apple-shaped strange fruit with spiral patterns all over its body. Luchi recognized the fruit at a glance. It was the devil fruit he had eaten before. Cat-cat fruit, leopard form. Is this a devil fruit? After seeing the disc in Lin Hao's hand, Rob Luchi and Kaku were so shocked that their eyes almost popped out of their sockets. It was the first time for them to see such a strange ability. I remember that Lin Hao had told them privately before. Vegapunk, who claimed to have the world's leading technology for 500 years, has been studying the secrets of devil fruits. Could it be that the guy succeeded in his research? Is this one of the results? Luki, 
Jump down now and see if you are still a landlubber. Okay. I got it. Lu Qi resolutely carried out. Lin Hao's order. After hearing Lin Hao's order, he walked directly to the edge of the deck, jumped, and jumped into the blue sea without hesitation. The next second, before Ka Ku went over to check the situation, a burst of ecstatic laughter came from the sea water under the warship. Ha ha ha. I am really not afraid of the sea water now, and I can even swim here. Master Lin Hao, your experiment is successful. Lu Qi's laughter not only surprised Lin Hao, but also attracted other CP0 members and Navy soldiers. After seeing Lu Qi, who is a fruit ability user, swimming happily in the sea, all these people widened their eyes in shock. Hey, hey, hey. Master Lin Hao, can you try the experiment you just did on Lu Qi on me? I also want to go swimming like that guy. Looking at Lu Qi moving freely in the sea. Kaku who had a long nose, suddenly felt envious. He actually took the initiative to ask Lin Hao to conduct an experiment on him. A few seconds later, Lin Hao had another CD with a spiral banana on the cover. Kaku couldn't wait to jump down. Looking at the two CDs in his hand, Lin Hao smiled. He now had the same method of hunting for fruit abilities as Blackbeard. But unlike Blackbeard, Lin Hao's way of hunting for fruits was more humane, and he didn't have to kill the original fruit ability users completely. If conditions permitted, he could now directly mass produce fruit ability users. After all, in the Impel Down, there were many ability users who provided him with materials. Especially on the sixth floor of the Impel Down, early the next morning, Lin Hao's warship docked at the port of Marine Headquarters Marinford on time according to the scheduled plan. Just like last time, before the warship docked, the Navy Headquarters Marshal Sengoku had already led the Navy generals of all levels to wait here early. Except for Akainu and a few others. The expressions on the faces of the others were not very good. Because after Blackbeard and his gang were taken to the warship, the Marine Headquarters Alternate Admiral, Momosugi, had already used Denden Mushi to inform the Marine Headquarters of the information provided by Blackbeard and his gang. After learning that the information that Blackbeard and his gang demanded 5 billion berries, later increased to 20 billion berries, was exactly the same as that of Supervisor Lin Hao, almost all the generals of the Marine Headquarters were silent. They would not feel embarrassed because they lost face in front of the Supervisor. At most, they would give in and listen to him in the future. The biggest problem now is the Marine Hero Garp, who is still suspended at this time. Regarding the fact that Ace is the son of Pirate King Roger. Garp 2. Zero really concealed the fact from the Marine Headquarters. His act of secretly keeping the blood of the Pirate King made the world government's measure of executing more than 100 pregnant women 20 years ago completely a joke. This is a smear on the world government. It is definitely an unforgivable sin. How the Navy Headquarters will deal with this old minister with outstanding merits is really a big problem. And this time, Garp's adopted grandson Ace will definitely be captured and taken to Impel Down. Will the hero Garp, who once made great contributions to the Navy Rika, really accept such a result? As the Navy Headquarters Supervisor Lin Hao slowly walked down the warship, all the Navy generals, big and small, looked at a special existence in the team intentionally or unintentionally. Navy hero Garp. He is still suspended and should not appear in such an occasion. He was the one who begged his old friend Sengoku with an old face to let him come over. For nothing else, just to see his grandson Ace. I hope that when these two guys meet, they won't create any unmanageable situations. Looking at Lin Hao getting closer and closer to the welcoming team. Zhang Guo's face was suddenly filled with worry. Ace. Finally, as Ace, who was covered in wounds, was taken off the warship by two Navy soldiers. Garp who had been hiding in the crowd and wanted to see his grandson, could no longer bear it. He rushed out of the crowd and ran towards Ace. Although Garp was suspended at this time, he was still allowed to wear the Navy uniform because of his identity as a Navy hero. But this time he looked a little different. His right sleeve was empty. And on the other side of his lower body, the thickness of his two legs was obviously different. Lin Hao could tell at a glance that it was a special prosthesis made for him by the medical team of the Navy Headquarters. I have to say that the efficiency of the medical team of the Marine Headquarters is still quite high. Although it was expected. However, for the scene where Garp appeared. 
Lin Hao still looked at Sengoku with a sneer on his face. Being stared at by Lin Hao, Sengoku's old face suddenly turned red. Because when Garp and the four members of the Straw Hat Pirates were escorted back before, Lin Hao had already explained in the Den Den Mushi. Letting the pirates go and attacking the supervisor. These two crimes were punished together. Garp should be sent directly to impel down. As a result, now, it seems that the supervisor of the Marine Headquarters wants to use this to attack himself. In the original setting, although the Admiral Sengoku also stood firmly on the side of the Navy, but he gave the Straw Hat Pirates all the slack he deserved. It's just that his acting was much more professional than Garp's. He wasn't as exaggerated as his old friend. However, Lin Hao didn't want to be as tough with Navy Admiral Sengoku as he was with Garp. Garp relied on his merits and looked down on everyone. It was impossible not to give him a good beating. Lin Hao even felt that even if he gave the other party a good beating, the other party would not repent. Because after that, Lin Hao would also capture his grandson Luffy and take him to impel down. But Sengoku still had a bottom line. At least in the face of major issues, he will not blindly protect his shortcomings. For such people, Lin Hao will reform them. If necessary, the disc of the substitute white snake can still be used a little bit. At this time, Lin Hao ignored Garp who was holding Ace and asking about his well-being. Instead, he stared at Zhang Guo closely. The latter felt scared. For Zhang Guo, being stared at so closely, he would rather endure the domineering color of the top strong man than being stared at like this. Because in this matter, he is indeed not in the right and has no advantage in strength and power. This time, he was able to agree to Garp's request to come and see his grandson. He really risked his old face. That, supervisor. Garp is a naval hero, so he should be. Facing Lin Hao staring at him. Navy Commander Zhang Guo tried to find some excuses to exonerate himself. But before he could finish his words, Lin Hao's cold voice made him tremble all over. Garp is a naval hero, so he can let off the instigator of the Judicial Island incident. Just because he is a naval hero, can he attack his superior just because he is dissatisfied? Just because he is a naval hero, he can ignore the rules and not be imprisoned and impel down even after committing such a serious crime. Is it because he is a naval hero that I, as a supervisor, have to obey his orders? I have already given him a chance at the Marine Headquarters before. You have challenged my bottom line again and again. Do you want to be with him? Lin Hao's words were powerful. Zhang Guo, who had been planning to plead for Garp, was speechless. Not only Zhang Guo, even the generals in the welcoming team who regarded Garp as an idol could not find any opportunity to refute and plead for their idol. Before, they doubted the authenticity of Lin Hao's information. They could still excuse Garp. But now, Garp's crimes have been confirmed. No matter how thick-skinned they are, they cannot put their admiration above their position in right and wrong. At least on the surface, they can't. Yes, this is indeed my fault. Please punish me, supervisor. Facing Lin Hao's questioning, Zhang Guo really couldn't find any excuses. He could only bow his head and admit his mistake to Lin Hao, who was two heads shorter than him. He hoped that the other party would quickly expose the matter for the sake of his status as the Admiral of the Navy. However, before he finished speaking, the Navy hero Garp suddenly attacked Lin Hao. Lin Hao, you fool, can't you see that Ace is almost dying after being beaten like this? You obviously have the scabbard that can heal people instantly, why don't you heal my grandson Ace? Garp asked Lin Hao at the top of his lungs. There was no respect or courtesy between superiors and subordinates in his tone. This scene shocked many people present. But then they could not help but cast sympathetic eyes on the Navy hero Garp. Grandpa loves his grandson. This is human nature. But his behavior of bringing shame to the world government and discrediting the Navy is really unwashable. Today, even the Navy Marshal Sengoku can't save him. You. You are so rude to the supervisor, why don't you leave now? The next moment, Akainu in the welcoming team and the CP0 members behind Lin Hao scolded Garp who accused Lin Hao at the same time. In response to the fury of his subordinates, Lin Hao just waved his hand slightly, signaling them to be quiet. Then, a casual sentence directly stunned Garp on the spot. May I ask our Navy hero, why should I treat a pirate's injuries? What's more, he is the blood of Pirate King Roger. 
isn't it the greatest favor that he was not killed directly? After this sentence came out, Garp, who wanted to point his finger at Lin Hao and scold him, was immediately speechless. Lin Hao was right. The Navy and the pirates have been two opposing camps since ancient times. Even if they meet on the sea, it is basically a situation of life and death. A dignified Navy hero asked his superior to treat the pirates' injuries. This is unreasonable no matter how you look at it. Even if this pirate is your grandson. For a while, the two sides were deadlocked. Others were fine. But at this time, Sengoku had secretly greeted all the women in Garp's family. This old guy is really restless if he doesn't make trouble for a day. If he keeps making trouble like this, how will he end up here? Asking him to come and see his grandson was already an exception among exceptions. Now he doesn't even come out to cause trouble as he promised before. Not to mention. Lin Hao, the supervisor of the Navy headquarters. Even he himself is so angry with this Navy. If Kaupu wasn't his old friend, why would Lin Hao have to take action? He would just go over and pin the other person to the ground. After a moment of silence, Admiral Sengoku walked directly to the angry Garp. Without saying anything, he slapped Garp's head hard. Warring states. What are you doing, you fool? Let me go. Garp. You are really too much of a fool. You should do as the supervisor said and go to impel down to reflect on yourself. Garp. The naval hero, was pinned to the ground by his old friend Sengoku, who held his head down tightly. But before he could continue to refute, Sengoku had already slapped Garp's neck hard with a knife. In an instant, Lin Hao's ears were much quieter. Then, at the signal of the naval commander Sengoku, several naval soldiers carried the unconscious Garp and Ace, who was only breathing his last, directly onto the stretcher. In full view of the public, the grandfather and grandson were carried away in a very embarrassed manner. This time, Sengoku really wanted to send Garp, the unreliable old man, to impel down. He had caused so many things in front of himself and the supervisor Lin Hao. He must be allowed to calm down. Please punish me, supervisor. I did something wrong. After his men sent Garp and Ace away, Zhang Guo immediately stepped forward and bowed to Lin Hao. Everything that had happened recently made him realize some of his serious problems. Even the wise generals of the Navy headquarters, Zhang Guo, knew that if he chose to be stubborn like Garp, his result would be even more tragic than Garp's. Seeing Zhang Guo bowing to Lin Hao, all the naval generals at the scene were shocked. It was the five elders who could make Zhang Guo bow like this. This supervisor of the Navy headquarters really has some tricks. Just remember this matter first. As the marshal of the Navy headquarters, you still have a lot to do. Lin Hao was very satisfied with Zhang Guo's attitude. If you are wrong, just admit it. Lin Hao naturally didn't need to embarrass the other party because of such a small matter. Now, everyone, come to the conference room. There is something important to discuss. The supervisor is going to hold a meeting right after he came back. Hearing Lin Hao's order, all the naval commanders present were shocked. You know, Lin Hao had just finished dealing with the Blackbeard gang. He didn't even take a break after getting off the ship. He went to hold a meeting. This work efficiency, even the Navy Marshal Zhang Guo would have to admire it. After the Navy soldiers escorted Garp and Blackbeard's gang to impel down, most of the high-ranking Navy officers in the crowd followed Lin Hao to the meeting room helplessly. However, two people in the crowd were particularly excited. One of them was a Kainu. The other was Zephyr, the former instructor of the Navy headquarters, whose crippled right arm was healed by Lin Hao before. He has now regained the rank of Admiral. The attitudes of these two people towards pirates are surprisingly consistent. Pirates should be completely wiped out. The corrupted Navy in the Navy should be dealt with resolutely. It is normal for a Kainu to think so. Because he has always pursued absolute justice. He has long been fed up with Garp who repeatedly let the straw hat pirates go. Of course, although he is not so strict with Commander Sengoku, big opinion. But it is definitely not support. Because in terms of favoritism, Sengoku did a really bad job. Look at Zephyr, although he has a good relationship with Garp and Sengoku. But after the incident where Whitebeard too chopped off his arm and slaughtered all the trainees. He no longer had the idea of continuing to not kill the Admiral. The shocking events that broke out one after another made him understand. 
What GARP did in recent years is indeed discrediting the Navy. From a standpoint. Although the two are old friends. But the supervisor Lin Hao did nothing wrong. In the meeting room of the Navy headquarters. Almost all the senior naval officials have arrived. Of course, except Garp. That guy has been suspended and is now in impel down. For this meeting, Lin Hao actually presided over it in person. There are three things that need to be resolved at this meeting. What I am going to say next is very important. I don't want anyone to be distracted. At this time, Lin Hao wrote a few big words on the blackboard like a teacher who was teaching students. In the first line, Lin Hao wrote the word ace. Obviously, the first content of their meeting today was to discuss how to deal with the problem of ace. In the second line, Lin Hao wrote the names Whitebeard and Shanks. These two names surprised the senior generals of the Navy headquarters. It is understandable to write Whitebeard. After all, the Navy headquarters arrested Ace, the captain of the second squad of the Whitebeard pirates. With Whitebeard's personality, he might come directly to attack the Navy headquarters. But Shanks, another one of the four emperors. Why would he be included in the agenda of this meeting? Could this guy also attack the Navy headquarters because of Ace? There is no reason. As for the third row. When Lin Hao wrote that name on the blackboard. Almost all the naval commanders present were silent. Even Kazaru, the famous slacker in the pirate world, couldn't help but frown. Because the third name, is the signboard of the Navy headquarters. Navy hero Garp. Obviously, Lin Hao, the supervisor of the Navy headquarters, is going to deal with Garp, the Navy hero. The handling of Garp will affect the hearts of many senior commanders of the Navy headquarters. Garp is indeed wrong in the recent series of events. But after all, he is also a Navy hero who has made great contributions to the Navy. If it is not handled properly, it will inevitably cause serious negative impacts within the Navy. About Ace. I have a plan. That is to execute the person directly at the Navy headquarters and broadcast it to the world. Then use Ace to lure the Whitebeard pirates over and completely annihilate them. As soon as these words came out, the whole meeting room was in an uproar. Everyone looked at Lin Hao in disbelief. They had never expected that this inspector who had just taken office for a short time at the Navy headquarters would have such courage. On the surface, he was going to execute Ace. Who knew that he would actually set his sights on the Whitebeard pirates? This was something that even the former marshal of the Navy headquarters, Kong Gang, had never done. You must know that the four emperors, the Navy, and the seven warlords of the sea. These three forces are known as the three most powerful forces on the Grand Line. If any of them is moved, there is a risk that the balance will be broken. Before, Lin Hao dealt with the seven warlords of the Sea Moria. It had already caused dissatisfaction among the other seven warlords of the sea. If they really want to attack the Whitebeard pirates this time, who can guarantee that the situation on the sea will change instantly? The situation has changed and is out of control. This is a matter for the future. If they have not made sufficient preparations, will Whitebeard come to rescue Ace easily? Even if the two sides really go to war, they are not sure they can take down the Whitebeard pirates, right? What's more, Shank's name was written on Lin Hao's blackboard. If Lin Hao's information is accurate, it means that the Red Hair pirates are also very likely to come to the Marine headquarters with Whitebeard. The two four emperors will attack together. Even if it is the Marine Headquarters, it may not be able to be taken down directly, right? For a while, many generals of the Marine Headquarters fell into silence. This topic is too big. None of them dared to speak first. Just when everyone was on the sidelines and did not dare to express their opinions. Akainu, one of the admirals of the Marine Headquarters, stood up directly. I agree with the supervisor's proposal. For so many years on the Grand Line, the Navy, Pirates and the Seven Warlords of the Sea have always maintained such a balance, which is not a good thing. And can those Shichibukai guys really be trusted? In order to win them over, our Navy has to turn a blind eye to their shameful deeds. If this continues, what prestige will our Navy have? By then, if those Seven Warlords of the Sea who are always ready to turn against you join the Four Emperor's camp, won't the balance be broken anyway? At that time, it was our Navy that was at a disadvantage. In my opinion, we should follow the advice of the supervisor. Taking advantage of this rare opportunity, the Whitebeard Pirates and the Red Hair Pirates were completely annihilated in one fell swoop. 
even if the balance is broken by then, our Navy will be the one that benefits. Akainu is such a straightforward person. Basically, every time there is such an occasion, he is the first to express his opinion. Such people are the vanguards in the workplace. Old hands usually deal with such difficult situations by saying that they will not move unless the enemy moves. If both sides don't understand, let the vanguard move first. Therefore, people like Akainu are often the ones who suffer the most. Otherwise, why were they all acting like him during the Battle of Marineford? Seeing Akainu jumping out to clearly support him. Lin Hao nodded with great satisfaction. In the entire navy, I am afraid that this is the only person who can stop him from worrying. Although most people in the Haimi circle before the time travel hated Akainu very much. Lin Hao knew that in the navy, only Akainu, who pursued absolute justice, was the one who really got things done. Hey, hey, hey. Isn't it too hasty to do this? Just when Lin Hao wanted to praise Akainu, a lazy and extremely annoying voice sounded. Everyone turned their heads and saw that it was Kazaru, who always slacked off when there was something to do, always punched in for work, and dozed off in the last row during meetings. Don't you realize how powerful the two four emperors groups are? If they really joined forces to attack us, I'm afraid we won't be able to resist at all. And now, we have lost our most powerful fighter, Mr. Garp. If you rashly go to war with a four emperors level pirate group, aren't you afraid that the marine headquarters will suffer heavy losses? At this time, although Kazaru looked like he deserved a beating, when he spoke, he actually had a rare sense of righteousness. This Kazaru shocked the others. However, what he said was very useful to many generals. That's right. Since they knew Ace was the bloodline of the Pirate King, they could just execute him in secret. There was no need to bring in the Whitebeard Pirates. Pirate King Roger has already surrendered and been executed, so there is no need to implicate Ace. After all, he doesn't walk the sea with the name of the Pirate King's son. If you don't tell me and I don't tell you, who will know then? After all, he is the adopted grandson of the Navy hero Garp. For Garp's sake, at least a way out should be left for him, right? With Kazaru taking the lead, all the Navy generals began to agree. They also knew that Ace was the bloodline of the Pirate King. For the world government, he must be eliminated. But the Navy hero Garp is their king knows idol. They spoke for Ace at this time. They were also consciously doing a favor for Garp, the Navy hero. After all, he is a Navy hero. It is impossible for him to stay in Impel Down forever. Even if Ace was executed in the end, Old Man Garp would still remember the favor they did for Ace. And the most important thing is that they don't want to go to war with the Four Emperors level pirate group. And it is very likely that there are two of them. Isn't it good to just clock in and slack off in the office? They have already made it to the general level. What are you playing with? For a while, there was an endless stream of people supporting Admiral Kazaru. Look at Admiral Kazaru again. He himself gradually lost himself and became complacent in the voices of wisdom and rightness. But in the next moment, the conference room suddenly became quiet. Kazaru, who had a smug look on his face, suddenly felt creepy and frightened. The next second, Kazaru just opened his eyes. He saw a fist wrapped in armed color domineering getting bigger and bigger in his pupils. Bang. Bang. Two horrible explosions rang out in succession. Then, in the shocked eyes of the generals of the Navy. After the body of Admiral Kazaru of the Navy smashed a human-shaped hole on the wall of the conference room, he quickly flew towards the sea in the distance. So, we will continue. In an instant, the scene in the conference room became very quiet. Not only did the Navy generals in the conference room who had just agreed with Kazaru widen their eyes in surprise. Even Akainu and Zephyr, who were firm supporters of Lin Hao, almost dropped their jaws. Looking at Lin Hao's fist that had not been retracted, everyone took a deep breath. The Navy hero Garp was beaten by him, but at least there was a reason to let the pirates go and conceal the bloodline of Ace, the Pirate King. What did Kazaru do wrong as the Navy Admiral? Was it just because he raised objections? I have to say, Kazaru is really miserable. He didn't catch the fish, but was directly punched. This punch looked really unclear. I don't know if the Navy Admiral is still alive or not. I know what you are thinking. It's okay to raise objections or reasonable suggestions. 
but if anyone expresses his opinion with the idea of avoiding war and keeping the enemy at bay. Quote, if anyone wants to be the second Kazaru or Garp, just come and try. Lin Hao saw it from the beginning. This guy who usually slacks off, gets off work on time, and sleeps during meetings can come and give suggestions on his own initiative. This guy who participated in the war on the top and didn't even get his clothes dirty stood up to give suggestions. He was just worried that if a large-scale war really broke out between the Navy and the pirates, it would delay him from slacking off. Lin Hao believed that there were definitely many people in the Navy headquarters who had the same idea as Kazaru. If you want to thoroughly rectify this unhealthy trend, you must find a typical example to deal with it. Just now, Lin Hao was still worrying about what to do about this matter. Kazaru, the guy who was addicted to slacking off, appeared directly. Lin Hao's punch just now not only knocked Kazaru away, but also shocked the 737 naval generals at all levels who had never seen Lin Hao take action. Those who can hold meetings in this conference room are all elites in the Navy. They have climbed up through countless battles with pirates with their merits. Their strength is definitely not bad. But just now, Lin Hao punched Admiral Kazaru and sent him flying. Including Kazaru who was beaten, they didn't even see the speed of Lin Hao's attack. They are not afraid of your strength, but they can't figure out your strength. Navy Hero Garp, Shichibukai Mariah, Blackbeard. Now it's the Navy Admiral Kazaru. Lin Hao, the new supervisor of the Navy headquarters, has not been in office for a few days. He has dealt with these heavyweights one after another. And it was effortless. With such a person as the boss, the life of these Navy generals is really hard. Sure enough, after Lin Hao warned everyone, the Navy generals who were originally dissatisfied with Lin Hao and the meeting immediately sat up and behaved properly. Some of them even took out small notebooks to take notes, fearing that their attitude was not in place and offended this iron-faced supervisor of the Navy. Seeing the immediate effect, Lin Hao nodded with satisfaction. Okay. Let's continue the meeting. Akainu and Kazaru have already expressed their opinions. If anyone has any ideas, please feel free to bring them up. For a moment, the meeting room fell silent again. No one dared to say a word. After all, with Lin Hao's style, blindly following the other party might make the other party feel that he was flattering. If he flattered the wrong person, he would still get punched. Who could stand this? But if they were asked to speak their true thoughts, then sorry, most of them would think the same as Kazaru. No one has any opinions on this plan. After nearly a minute of silence, no one in the entire conference room dared to speak. At this time, Lin Hao's tone was obviously unhappy. He looked around. All the generals avoided him wherever his eyes went. Finally, when he saw the Admiral Aokiji of the Navy headquarters, Aokiji finally stood up and expressed his opinion. That, supervisor, facing two four emperors level pirate groups at once, would it be too severe for the Marine headquarters combat power configuration? Hearing the question raised by Aokiji, all the Marine generals nodded in agreement. Those were two four emperors. And they were two of the most powerful four emperors. One was the strongest man in the world, and the other was red-haired Shanks. Who in the Marine headquarters could handle these two four emperors? Would the Navy Commander Sengoku and the Navy Hero Garp go down in person? However, when they just had this idea in their minds, they suddenly remembered the scene where Lin Hao punched Kazaru away. Hmm. The strength of this supervisor is unfathomable. With him present, we won't necessarily suffer any loss in terms of high-end combat power. What you said is indeed a problem. If we fight against two of the four emperors at the same time, our coexistence will inevitably be at a disadvantage. Lin Hao did not embarrass Aokiji's question. After all, what he said was true. Lin Hao's performance also made the naval commanders feel relieved. The supervisor of the Navy headquarters is still reasonable. The following meeting went very smoothly. No one dared to be absent. After some discussion, everyone determined the next plan. The Navy headquarters will keep the fact that Ace has been captured by the Navy headquarters confidential. During this period of time, the Navy will gather people and build fortifications. When the manpower is complete and the Navy headquarters is AGDD, ready to fight, they will announce the news that Ace will be executed. This can minimize the casualties of the Navy. As for as for the generals and naval soldiers at all levels of the Marine headquarters, they should make full use of this time. 
They should train when necessary and rest when necessary. If the war really breaks out, it will definitely be a bloody battle. As for the last topic of the meeting, about how to deal with GARP, all the marine generals were in a dilemma. With the previous experience of Kazaru, they no longer dared to plead for GARP. Finally, at the request of the Marine Marshal Sengoku, the disposal plan was finally decided. That is to let GARP make meritorious service after his crime. Use the merits in the war to completely offset the mistakes made before. After all, it is a battle against two of the four emperors. If GARP participates in the war, it will still have a significant positive effect on the morale of the Marine headquarters. And it can also share a considerable part of the pressure of the Marine Headquarters high-end combat power. Of course, at the request of the Navy Commander Sengoku and the generals at all levels of the Navy. Lin Hao also agreed to treat Garp's previously broken limbs. Since he has joined the war, he can't drag his broken body with him. Things will be very simple after that. All the topics have been completed, and the next step is for Navy Marshal Sengoku to assign tasks to generals at all levels. As for Lin Hao, he called out the Admiral of the Navy Headquarters, the Colonel of the Navy Headquarters, the Navy Colonel Bones, and the Navy Headquarters Vice Admiral Ghost Spider separately. Lin Hao is absolutely relieved about these three people. Needless to say, Zephyr has always stood firmly on Lin Hao's side. Lin Hao also has a very deep impression of the Navy Headquarters Colonel T. Bone. In the original work, this is an excellent Navy who can carry out the justice he pursues to the end. No matter when and where, he will be fair. He put the lives of the people first. He is a truly good man. But in the original work, his ending is not good. It was the civilians he had been protecting who finally backstabbed him to death. For such a thing, Lin Hao would never allow it to happen in this world. Another vice admiral of the Navy headquarters, Ghost Spider. As one of the five special vice admirals who executed the demon killing order. His strength can be regarded as among the best among the vice admirals. Lin Hao handed him over because this guy is the same as a Kainu. He firmly implements his concept of absolute justice. During the war at the top in the original work, this guy was one of the few vice admirals who fought desperately like a Kainu throughout the whole process. Even when Blackbeard suddenly appeared in Marinford, it was his encouragement that restored the morale of the Navy soldiers who were almost frightened. Such a person deserves the reward that Lin Hao will give next. After learning that Lin Hao was going to take them to Impel Down. The three were all shocked. Impel Down, located in the doldrums in the first half of the Grand Line. It is the prison where the Navy imprisons serious criminals. Can be imprisoned in it. All of them were pirates who had caused a lot of trouble on the Grand Line. As to why Lin Hao brought them here alone, all three of them were confused. Excuse me. Mr. Supervisor, why did you bring us to Push City? Looking at the supervisor sitting at the front of the warship, the lowest-ranking naval captain T-Bone asked timidly. Hearing T-Bone's question, Lin Hao turned around with a smile and asked back. I have a question for you guys. Have you three ever thought about eating a devil fruit? What did you say? After hearing Lin Hao's question, the three generals of the Navy headquarters widened their eyes in surprise. That's right. Hearing the three people's questions, Lin Hao smiled and nodded. Now that he has a substitute white snake, he is sure that he can use the substitute white snake to seize the fruit power. There are many fruit power users in Impel Down. Some of them have extremely powerful fruit powers. Anyway, they are locked up in the sea stone locks in the Impel Down. The fruit power is also a waste. It is better to directly extract the fruit power and use it to strengthen the reliable people in the Navy. Half a day later, the warship where Lin Hao was arrived at the port of Impel Down. As soon as Lin Hao and others got off the warship, they saw that Magellan, the warden of the Impel Down, and Hannibal, the deputy warden, had been waiting here early. The main function of these two people is to work in the Impel Down. Basically, they don't go out all year round. But this does not affect their watching the broadcast through the Den Den Mushi. And the Navy itself the department will also regularly send news here. Although this is the first time they meet. But the two guards in the city who hate pirates and criminals have long been in awe of Lin Haopei. Look at the prisoners sent in the past few days. First was Spandane, the father of Spandam, the scum of the navy. 
Then came the four main members of the Straw Hat Pirates, and then there were the great pirates like Gecko Mariah who had a great reputation in the Grand Line. And not long ago, the Pirate King's bloodline, Fire Fist Ace, was sent in together with the Navy Hero Garp. The Warden Magellan was not surprised at all that the Navy Hero Garp was sent in. Although he is a Navy Hero, many people have seen what he has done over the years. Hawkish figures like him and Akainu who have a tough attitude towards pirates have long been watching. Garp, who had let the pirates off several times, was unhappy. This time Lin Hao sent Garp to impel down. It really gave them a good vent. After Ace was sent here, he was directly imprisoned on the sixth floor of Impel Down by Magellan. But for the hero Garp, Sengoku's instructions were very clear. Just put this navy hero in the office area on the ground floor and treat him with good food and drink for a while. But Magellan scoffed at this order. After learning that Garp's act of harboring the blood of the pirate king led to the deaths of more than a hundred pregnant women twenty years ago. Magellan said nothing. He directly gave this navy hero a thorough imprisonment package of boiling water disinfection in Impel Down. Then he directly sent this navy hero who relied on his seniority to the sixth floor with Fire Fist Ace. It can be said that the current Magellan and Hannibal the degree of admiration for Lin Hao was no less than that of the Red Dog. He knew that he had to eat poisonous fruits. He was a poisonous collection. Hao is naturally in his eyes. For this person, Lin Hao is not bad. Looking at the prison warden Hannibal, who was full of expectation and regret, Lin Hao smiled slightly. He directly covered his hands with a strong armed color domineering aura. He took the initiative to step forward and shook hands with Magellan cordially. Master Supervisor. Seeing Lin Hao taking the initiative to shake hands with him. Warden Magellan was stunned for a moment, and then his huge body trembled with excitement. For many years, no one had ever taken the initiative to get so close to him. In his heart, Lin Hao, the supervisor, suddenly became extremely tall. Although he was a full body taller than the other party. We are here to interrogate several prisoners in Impel Down. We don't need to take them out, we can interrogate them directly in the cells. After a simple greeting, Lin Hao stated his purpose directly. Magellan quickly agreed to the supervisor's request. Although this was the first time they met, he had heard about Lin Hao's previous strong record. A guy who could beat even Garp into a cripple. There was no need to worry about the scum in Impel Down posing any threat to his safety. Magellan went along. After all, he was just an escort. If something really happened and a fight broke out, who would protect whom between the two of them? This time when they came to Impel Down, Lin Hao and his team had a simple purpose. That was to collect all the fruit abilities of all the people with abilities in Impel Down. If you obey obediently, you will suffer less. If you dare to resist, you will be beaten to death. On the first floor of Impel Down, they came to Buggy the Clown's boss. This guy concealed the information of his ability to split into pieces. He was ready to escape from Impel Down at any time. When Lin Hao came to his cell and stared at him with a smile, the heart of the Overlord Color Luck Awakener in the original One Piece suddenly went cold from head to toe. A few minutes later, in the shocked eyes of everyone, Lin Hao inserted the disc of the ability of the split fruit directly into Colonel T-Bone's head. At the beginning, Colonel T-Bone was extremely uncomfortable. Looking at his body that was instantly torn into pieces, he thought he was going to die directly. But after a few minutes of getting used to it, this one of the few good people in the original One Piece shouted excitedly. Because he has completely gotten used to this ability. After having this ability, his body is no longer afraid of slashes and backstabs. So far, the pirate world has lost a lucky awakener of Conqueror Hockey, and gained a conscientious and responsible person who is not a colonel. What about you? What ability do you want? After successfully turning Colonel T-Bone into an ability user, Lin Hao turned his head and asked another enhancement target, Vice Admiral Ghost Spider of the Navy Headquarters. Ghost Spider pondered for a long time about Lin Hao's question. His ability is to practice the life return of the Navy Six styles to the extreme. His hair became as easy to control as his arms because of the effect of life return, and it cooperated with his body perfectly. When fighting, he would arrange eight sabers at the opponent at the same time. So in the Navy headquarters, he also had a nickname Ghost Spider. As for the Devil Fruit ability, he certainly knew that it could strengthen his body to a certain extent. 
but if he really ate this thing, it is true that his strength will increase rapidly, but it will also affect his upper limit to a certain extent. Should he eat the devil fruit or not? Or which devil fruit should he eat? This question made him embarrassed all of a sudden. Are you worried that the devil fruit will limit your strength? Seeing Ghost Spider's hesitant look, Lin Hao smiled slightly and patted Ghost Spider on the shoulder. You don't have to worry about my ability. Just eat whatever diaphragm fruit you want. After this war is over, if you regret it, you can come to me. I still have the power to pull the devil fruit out of your body. Really? Hearing Lin Hao say this, Ghost Spider's eyes suddenly lit up. For him, if he eats a suitable devil fruit, it will definitely improve his strength quickly in a short period of time. There is not much time left before the battle with the twin emperors. No matter how much he trains, his strength will not improve much. It is better to eat a devil fruit directly as an emergency. Anyway, the supervisor can still take that thing out later. Why not? Thinking of this, Lieutenant General Ghost Spider immediately began to think seriously. Half an hour later, in a cell on the fourth floor of the Push City, a prisoner with a strong physique and a shiny head who looks like a monk was beaten with fractures all over his body and lost consciousness directly. Looking aside, Lin Hao has already put a bright silver disc into Lieutenant General Ghost Spider's head. The next moment, Ghost Spider's body trembled. Countless sharp blades immediately appeared all over his body. Just now, Lin Hao beat Mr. One of the former Baroque works to death. He forcibly took away the power of the quick-cut fruit from his body and immediately placed it in the middle. On Spider Demon's body. Obviously, the ability of the quick-cut fruit to turn any part of the body into a blade perfectly matches Spider Demon's fighting style. With the blessing of the quick-cut fruit, Vice Admiral Spider Demon's strength, which had been bottlenecked for many years, also made some breakthroughs. Of course, all this is to cope with the upcoming war that is destined to shock the world. After turning T-Bone and Spider Demon into ability users, Lin Hao turned his head and looked at Admiral Zephyr of the Navy Headquarters. So what about you, Mr. Zephyr? What fruit ability do you want? Hearing Lin Hao's question, Admiral Zephyr of the Navy Headquarters did not answer immediately. Because he had not yet decided whether or not to obtain the power of the devil fruit. After all, he was not young anymore and his strength had reached the peak of his life. The bonus of the devil fruit was not strong enough for him. If possible, he would rather give this precious opportunity to strengthen his strength to young people. At least in his impression, there were several students he taught who were very trustworthy. Lin Hao smiled slightly at Zephyr's refusal. Teacher Zephyr, you just don't have the right devil fruit, let me choose for you. Lin Hao always respects Zephyr. Hearing what Lin Hao said, Zephyr did not insist. After all, Lin Hao had said before that the fruit ability can be extracted from the body at any time. Let's try it first, and then find Lin Hao to restore it to normal. Then, at Lin Hao's signal, a group of people came directly to the sixth floor of the Impel Down City. As soon as they arrived here, Hannibal, the deputy warden, couldn't help but come to Lin Hao and others to search for the big boss prisoners who were detained here. 440, this floor is full of great pirates who were once famous on the Grand Line. The solitary cell at the innermost part holds Douglas Barrett, a former crew member of Pirate King Roger. It is said that the guy had been challenging Roger all along. Although he never succeeded, his strength is very strong. He can definitely fight against the Pluto Rayleigh on equal terms. Hearing this name, T-Bone and Ghost Spider behind Lin Hao were all shocked. Of course, they had heard of the legend of Douglas Barrett. He was a big shot who was dealt with by the Navy Demon Killing Order decades ago. It is said that in order to prevent accidents during the escort, Garp and Sengoku escorted him together, and barely sent him to Impel Down. I didn't expect that I could come to Impel Down today and see. To such a person of this level. All this is thanks to Lin Hao, the supervisor of the Navy headquarters. These days. Deputy Warden Hannibal is like Magellan. He admires Lin Hao's actions with all his heart. He even regards Lin Hao, the supervisor who has made countless achievements in succession, as an idol. In front of his idol, he naturally has to work hard to introduce the heavyweight prisoners of the infinite hell on the sixth floor of Impel Down. He heard that Supervisor Lin Hao came directly from the Holy Land to the Navy headquarters to take up his post. 
he must not know much about the prisoners on the sixth floor of Impel Down. Hannibal was very excited and kept talking. This one is the only female prisoner in the sixth floor of Impel Down, Katerina Dimai. I heard that when she was traveling on the Grand Line, her favorite thing was to collect the faces of beautiful women. That's really despicable. There is also a single largest cell over there, where the huge battleship San Juan Wolf is imprisoned. His size is really too big, almost catching up with half of Impel Down. And the one on the outside is the evil ruler Avalo Pizarro. The one in the cell next to him is the drunkard Jot. This one is very strong, but he can stand on the same level with Roger and Whitebeard by himself, the lone red, Valoric Lesfield. Hannibal introduced as he walked. In just over ten minutes, he introduced all the prisoners on the sixth floor. For Lin Hao, he was relatively calm. After all, he had read the original One Piece and watched all the theatrical versions. Although it was the first time he saw these prisoners, he still had some impressions. This time, he came here just out of curiosity. As for T-Bone and Spider Demon behind Lin Hao, these two naval generals who had never been to the sixth floor of Impel Down were very shocked. Because in the sixth floor, no matter which guy ran out, he would definitely become a great enemy of the navy and set off a bloody storm on the Grand Line. Even though they were locked in the cell at this time, the capable people among them could not use their abilities because they were tightly locked in seastone handcuffs. But the terrifying aura on them still made these two naval generals who had never fought against top pirates tremble with fear. Hannibal. Are you showing off by introducing us all? Just as they walked into the deepest cell area, a terrifying roar suddenly came from the cell closest to Hannibal. With someone taking the lead, almost all the prisoners in the sea tower stone cells on both sides of the crowd showed their figures. They kept shouting, and their eyes were full of murderous intent. This scene really made T-Bone and Ghost Spider behind Lin Hao look livid. At this time, the two of them were like two ants under the feet of countless prehistoric beasts. Although they were curious about this place, they really didn't want to stay there for a minute. Magellan and Hannibal, who had worked here for many years, seemed very calm when facing these legendary pirates. Magellan was fine, just standing outside the cell and loudly scolding these legendary pirates. Hannibal was more or less ignorant. In the meantime, he held his big pheasant knife in his hand. He walked straight to the cell of the prisoner who took the lead in making trouble. He slammed the knife hard on the fence of the cell. Barrett, don't be so arrogant. Your Captain Roger is dead and you have been caught. Now, the only offspring of the Pirate King Roger was brought here. You evil guys, the final end can only be to slowly die of old age and rot in this infinite hell. In the end, we will drag you out to feed the fish. If you don't want to suffer for the rest of your life, you'd better behave yourself now. Facing Barrett's unfriendly expression, although he was a little trembling in his heart, in order to show his presence in front of his idol Lin Hao, the deputy warden of the advancement layer also risked his life. He arrogantly put his head in front of Barrett. His words were full of sarcasm. He specifically picked on Barrett's pain. As a result, the next moment, he became a typical example of a person who has no strength but is still pretending to be good. A heart-pounding sound of breaking wind sounded. An arm thicker than a bucket stretched out from the cell. It directly grasped Hannibal's head in its hand. In a split second, Hannibal didn't even have time to scream. His brain was crushed by Barrett's sudden attack. It all happened very quickly. Before anyone could react, Hannibal's limp body was thrown to the ground by Barrett, who was laughing wildly. This lightning-fast event made the prisoners in other cells laugh wildly. This scene shocked T-Bone and Ghost Spider. Even Zepha, who had seen a lot of storms behind Lin Hao, frowned. You fool. Looking at Hannibal, who was so arrogant just now but now has no way out, the Warden Magellan was about to go up and teach this arrogant pirate a lesson. But before he could do anything, he was stopped by Lin Hao with a sneer. It doesn't matter, there is still hope, save people first. Yes. Yes. Save people first. After hearing Lin Hao's suggestion, Warden Hannibal quickly shouted to his men behind him to dispatch medical personnel. But before he could react, he suddenly saw a strange thing like a scabbard shining with holy light appear in Lin Hao's hand. Is this? Is this the ability of the supervisor? Under the shocked eyes of the Warden Magellan, Lin Hao directly thrust the scabbard into Hannibal's body. 
In an instant, a holy light slowly emerged from Hannibal's body. After just a dozen seconds, Hannibal, who had just had his skull shattered and was dying, opened his eyes directly. Thinking of the embarrassment of being held in the hand of Barrett just now, the deputy warden was furious. He immediately raised the large pheasant in his hand and stabbed it fiercely in the direction of Barrett. However, just as he took action, his shoulder was grabbed by Lin Hao who sneered. Back off. You are no match for this guy. Oh. He looks like a very powerful guy, how about it? Want to come in and have a good competition? 4.6. Looking at Lin Hao's young face. Barrett showed a bloodthirsty and crazy smile on his face. At the same time, the prisoners in other cells started to make a noise and shouted loudly at Lin Hao and Barrett. You bunch of rude fools. Seeing the situation getting more and more out of control. Magellan, the warden, roared. Then he directly activated the power of his poison poison fruit. In an instant, with Magellan as the center, endless purple venom began to spread wildly and rapidly around the cell. After seeing the poison approaching their cells quickly, all the prisoners who had been shouting before shut their mouths obediently. The prisoners who didn't have time to dodge were directly wrapped in the thick venom and screamed. Only Barrett. Although his body was full of Hannibal's venom. But his face was still that arrogant and cruel smile. Looking at Barrett who refused to obey the discipline no matter what. Lin Hao smiled slightly. Then patted the warden Magellan on the shoulder. Take back the power, open his cell, I will deal with this guy myself. He he he. You are playing with fire, you little brat. When Douglas Barrett heard Lin Hao asking the warden Magellan to open his cell door, he was stunned at first. Then his face immediately showed an even more bloodthirsty and arrogant expression. If you dare to come in, I will tear you apart and kill my way out of here. I will destroy that marine headquarters directly. Oh, really? Then you can try it. Hearing Barrett's arrogant shouting. Lin Hao sneered, then took off the gorgeous cloak on his body and handed it to Colonel T-Bone behind him. Seeing that Lin Hao really wanted to fight with him. Barrett didn't say anything more. Instead, he looked at the Warden Magellan with great expectation. Looking at the other cells, he saw that Lin Hao, a guy who had a high status in the Navy, was actually going to take the initiative to enter the cell and fight Magellan. The lesson just now corroded by Magellan's venom was thrown behind the heads of these desperate criminals and forgotten without a trace. At this time, they all had a gloating look on their faces. The days on the sixth floor of the Push City were very boring. If these two people could really fight. It would undoubtedly be an interesting entertainment activity for them. Lin Hao is the navy they hate in their hearts. And Barrett is also very arrogant on the sixth floor on weekdays. Many prisoners on the same floor couldn't stand it anymore. These two people fight, and whoever gets abused in the end, these prisoners will be very happy. Ha ha ha. Boy, go teach that arrogant old guy a lesson. Hey. Barrett, isn't your goal always to surpass Roger? Don't let this guy bully you. Ha ha ha, start the fight, I can't wait. For a while, there were boos, jeers, and crazy shouts. Even if Magellan wanted to stop them, it was useless. Before these guys came in, they were all famous pirates on the sea. Naturally, they would not surrender to the navy because of some physical pain. It's just that they usually give Magellan that face because there is no need to suffer in vain. But now. Seeing the high-ranking Navy officers fighting with the legendary pirate Barrett. These pirates who have been pent up for a long time have been completely excited. Even if Magellan has used Venom to attack again, it can't make them shut up completely. Suddenly. In in front of Barrett's cell. With Lin Hao as the center, a surging breath instantly filled the entire sixth floor of the Impel Down City. Facing these arrogant bandits, Lin Hao had a cold smile on his face. He vented his strength to the fullest. Endless murderous intent intertwined into flames, and the overlord Black Thunder surged wantonly. In just a moment, the pirates who were just clamoring wildly suddenly became silent. They were all pirates who had galloped across the Grand Line. Of course, they knew what the overlord hockey was. Although with their strength, they would not be directly stunned by Lin Hao's overlord hockey. But facing this terrifying Wea, they immediately knew that Lin Hao in front of them, was definitely not a soft persimmon that could be manipulated by anyone. Domineering hockey. Looking at the prisoners who quieted down in an instant, except for Zephyr. 
T-Bone, Ghost Spider and the two highest officers of Impel Down were all speechless with shock. They were not shocked that Lin Hao had domineering hockey. After all, they had heard about Lin Hao's previous victory over Garp. If you say that such a person does not have domineering hockey, even an idiot would not believe it with his knees. They were shocked that when Lin Hao cast domineering hockey, they were not affected at all. He was able to achieve full coverage while taking care of friendly units. Such a delicate operation must have been the result of the domineering hockey. Judging from Lin Hao's appearance, he was definitely no more than 20 years old. Such a young man actually had the ability to crush the strength that overwhelms the veteran strongmen of the Navy. How could they not be shocked when they saw it for the first time? After easing the shock in their hearts, Magellan showed a smirk on his face. Although he has been in Impel Down and has never been out. But he has heard about Lin Hao's powerful record outside. But he heard it, it does not mean that the pirates on the sixth floor of Impel Down have also heard it. After the display just now, Magellan has believed it. Barrett, the arrogant pirate, will never be Lin Hao's opponent. Although he can deter the criminals on the sixth floor to a certain extent at ordinary times. But here, not everyone gives him this face. Due to his duties, he can't go in and educate them in person. It is very likely that he can't beat them even if he goes in. Now there is just this opportunity. Magellan was so excited. As for Hannibal, who was almost killed by Barrett just now, he was even more frightened. After hearing that Supervisor Lin Hao was going to go in and deal with him personally. He immediately became excited. The supervisor personally avenged him and beat up the legendary pirate. This kind of thing can be boasted to others for the rest of his life when he retires. He he he. You will regret it. After taking a kind look at Barrett in the cell. Magellan was not vague and went straight forward to open the door of the cell. After the domineering color just now. Barrett also put away his underestimation of Lin Hao. He knew that this guy must have extremely powerful strength. But in his eyes, Lin Hao, who was no more than 20 years old, would definitely not be his opponent. Therefore, as soon as Lin Hao entered the cell, before he said to start. Barrett couldn't wait to punch Lin Hao's head. Barrett, you shameless guy, we haven't shouted start yet. Seeing this sudden situation, Magellan, Zepha and the two naval generals brought by Lin Hao suddenly felt depressed. As for the one who was almost killed by Barrett just now, he was already cursing in panic. This scene not only shocked Magellan and others. It also shocked the prisoners in other cells. After all, he was a legendary figure on the ship of the pirate King Roger. He actually had the audacity to sneak attack a junior. He was more or less a little embarrassed. But in the next moment, the sixth floor of the entire Impel Down city was instantly quiet. Whether it was Magellan and others outside the prison, or the prisoners in other cells, they all widened their eyes in shock. Lin Hao was not afraid of Barrett's iron fist. He just caught it with his hand slightly. Then at the moment when the fist and the palm touched, Lin Hao's wrist turned slightly. Barrett's tall body, like a prehistoric beast, instantly flew off the ground. After making a few awkward turns in the air, he fell headfirst onto the ground. Bang! This fall brought about a heart-pounding explosion. The entire impel hell was shaken for a short period of time. Barrett was hit really hard by this blow. He didn't know Lin Hao's background and wanted to crush Lin Hao easily with his absolute physical strength. But he didn't know that Lin Hao possessed the terrifying force dissipating technique of using the opponent's force to defeat him. With this move, Lin Hao first blasted Garp under the floor tiles of the Navy headquarters. Then he completely disabled Sanji's right leg in the Seven Water Metropolis. It has to be said that Barrett on the Luo ship is still very strong. The moment Lin Hao controlled the terrifying reaction force to enter his body. He quickly noticed the abnormality in his body. In almost one ten thousandth of a second. Barrett chose to take the initiative to lift his body into the air and rotate along with the terrifying force. If he hadn't reacted quickly and handled it in time. Barrett's lightest result would have been a disabled arm. Isn't this the ability of the fruit, but the purest martial arts technique? I underestimated you. This is the first time I've seen such a technique. It's really eye-opening. After a few seconds, the deafening explosion gradually faded away. Barrett, who had fallen on his face and was in a very embarrassing state, slowly stood up. 
although the previous blow was very heavy. Barrett also reacted in time to minimize the damage. Except for slight scratches on his face. Barrett did not look injured at all. Just from this one point. Lin Hao had already judged that in terms of physical strength alone, Barrett had unilaterally surpassed Garp. Of course, Barrett is still a capable person after all. Fighting in the sea stone cell will more or less affect his performance. But this is not within Lin Hao's consideration. Looking at Barrett with a wound on his face and covered in dust, Lin Hao smiled slightly. Then he asked the other party in an extremely provocative and asking tone. What do you think, Legend of Roger's pirate group, are you going to stay put or continue to get beaten? He he he. I'm going to tear you apart alive. Hearing Lin Hao's provocation. Barrett was stunned at first. Then his face showed the chilling arrogant smile again. He he he. It was your mistake to show mercy just now. I will know how to deal with such a trick soon. Before he finished speaking, Barrett wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth fiercely. Then he stepped on the ground and rushed towards Lin Hao again. Looking at Barrett who was rushing towards him quickly. Lin Hao smiled slightly. He raised his hand and was about to use the force elimination to hit the opponent hard. But when he just came into contact with Barrett, he suddenly found that there was not a trace of strength in the opponent's fist. At the moment when Lin Hao was surprised. Barrett, with a grim smile on his face, quickly changed his fist into a palm. A big hand directly grasped Lin Hao's entire arm firmly in his hand. Then, his other arm quickly took over. Lin Hao's other calf was immediately firmly controlled by this legendary pirate with extremely rich combat experience. From a distance, Lin Hao's left hand and right leg were tightly grasped by Barrett. This legendary figure on the ship of Pirate King Roger actually used his powerful physical strength to tear Lin Hao to pieces alive. He he he. The force that hits your body will be counterattack to the opponent, so what if it destroys your body directly? Barrett grinned. With a little force with both hands, he directly lifted up Lin Hao's slender body. Seeing this scene, Warden Barrett and Admiral Zeffa immediately wanted to rescue him with bloodshot eyes. But when Lin Hao entered the cell before, because he was too confident in Lin Hao's strength. Warden Magellan directly locked the Seastone cell from the outside. For a while, the two of them couldn't rescue him in time. The people in the navy were worried about Lin Hao's condition. But the pirates in the cells next to and opposite were excited. Seeing Barrett lift Lin Hao up like a puppy, they seemed to have seen Lin Hao being torn apart alive. Scene. But in the next moment, a terrifying explosion suddenly sounded. The entire Impel Down city was shaken again with a terrifying vibration comparable to an earthquake. With Lin Hao and Barrett as the center, the terrifying vibration caused a thick smoke that made it impossible to open one's eyes. For a moment, whether it was the Navy or the pirates, they all had no idea what had happened. But thinking of what happened before this terrifying vibration, the prisoners in other cells immediately laughed arrogantly again. Because they knew how strong Barrett's body was. The terrifying vibration just now was just a desperate counterattack by the young Navy before his death. As the thick smoke slowly dissipated, Lin Hao in the cell and Barrett's figures slowly emerged in front of everyone. The next moment, the Warden Magellan and Admiral Zeffa hit T-Bone and Ghost Spider, who were specially named by Lin Hao, with ecstasy on their faces. Look at the prisoners in other cells. The arrogant expressions on their faces have been frozen on their faces. In the prison cell, Lin Hao has escaped safely. At this time, he still maintains the posture of punching with his right hand. Look at Barrett opposite him. At this time, a huge and terrifying hole has been blasted on his chest. And Barrett himself has opened his mouth and rolled his eyes. He lost consciousness directly and fell heavily to the ground. This scene directly made the Warden Captain Magellan and Admiral Zephyr were stunned. They knew that the Warden was very strong. But they never thought that the Warden was so strong. With just one punch, he beat a legendary pirate like Barrett and made him lose consciousness. Looking at the prisoners in other cells, they were completely motionless at this time. Their jaws all dropped to the ground. Their mouths were so wide open that they could easily stuff a watermelon. The people in the navy were more or less mentally prepared for such a result. After all, even if they hadn't seen Lin Hao take action, the fact that the navy hero Garp had his hands and feet broken was still there. And these pirates, they didn't even know who Lin Hao was, and Lin Hao looked very young. 
They just thought Lin Hao was a new generation in the Navy. But, the strength of this new generation of Navy has actually surpassed those pirates who previously dominated the Grand Line. Is the new generation of the Navy so strong now? Is it really because we have been locked up here for too long? Looking at Lin Hao retracting his fist and casually brushing off the dust on his body, it seemed that killing Barrett in seconds was a very common thing. All the pirates in the other cells were silent. Many of them were still thinking that if they had the chance, they must escape and show off again on the Grand Line to create a wave. But after seeing Lin Hao's performance today, a large number of the legendary pirates on the sixth floor of the Impel Down City gave up such ideas. Who is the one who was knocked down? That was Barrett. The number of people who can remain undefeated against Barrett in the entire sixth floor of the Impel Down City can definitely be counted on one's fingers. This kid can actually kill in one hit. Whether it is the fruit ability or his physical skills, they are so powerful. These pirates have been really shocked. They don't know how many of the new generation of the Navy have the strength of Lin Hao. But this is really not a problem. The new generation of the Navy is like a carp crossing the river in every era. Among a large number of new generations, there are only a few with such strength. Three or four. It is definitely enough to give these pirates on the Grand Line a hard time. Now it seems that it is safer to stay and impel down. Just when they were afraid of Lin Hao's strength. Lin Hao in the prison had just started his work. He summoned the substitute White Snake and then walked to Barrett. Without any hesitation, he directly commanded the substitute White Snake to insert his arm into Barrett's mind. A few seconds later, two discs appeared in Lin Hao's hand. The cover of one of them was a devil fruit with spiral patterns on the surface. The cover of the other one was a portrait of Barrett. This was the first time that Lin Hao took out a disc of spiritual energy from a person's brain after obtaining the substitute white snake. Looking at the disc, Lin Hao smiled slightly. As long as he doesn't put the spiritual disc back into Barrett's mind. Then from now until Barrett dies. He can only exist like a vegetable. If there is any difference between him and an ordinary vegetable. It is that with his physical strength. He should be able to hold on for a long time. That. Is that what this guy is capable of? What on earth did he do to that guy Barrett? Seeing the two extra discs in Lin Hao's hand, all the prisoners on the sixth floor of Impel Down swallowed hard at the same time. In the other cells where the legendary pirates were imprisoned, there was no movement. Although they were not stand users and could not see the stand white snake at all, as pirates who have been active on the Grand Line for many years, they had already expected that the two discs in Lin Hao's hand would inevitably cause extremely terrible damage to Barrett. And such damage is basically irreversible. Now Lin Hao has completely shocked the prisoners on the sixth floor of Impel Down. Lin Hao in the cell looked at Barrett, then looked at the spirit disc in his hand. Then a strange smile appeared on his face. A few minutes later, Lin Hao walked out of the cell. Without saying a word, he directly sent the disc of the fusion fruit into the body of Admiral Zeffa of the Navy headquarters. As for Barrett's spirit disc, Lin Hao wrote some special instructions into it and stuffed it back directly. You actually gave me Barrett's fusion fruit. Doesn't Mr. Zeffa like it? This is a fruit ability that is quite suitable for Mr. Zeffa. Looking at the shocked Zeffa, Lin Hao smiled and asked back. The fusion fruit has the ability to arrange and combine all objects and make them combine. This combination can not only synthesize inorganic matter, but also allow itself to merge with other inorganic matter. In the theatrical version of One Piece, Barrett once used the fruit ability to create a huge Gundam centered on himself. But that was the result after the fruit ability was awakened. Lin Hao believes that Admiral Zeffa of the Navy headquarters has this fruit. His strength will definitely improve by leaps and bounds. Although it is impossible to awaken before the top war, it will at least be an extremely important helper for the Navy. This time, Lin Hao does not intend to hold back on the Whitebeard pirates like the Navy in the original work. So they are bound to fight the Red Hair pirates. Now any help is extremely important for the Navy. Hey, hey, hey. Look, that guy is looking over here. What is he going to do? He's not just looking at you anymore, he's looking at all of us now. What does this guy want to do? Does he want to beat us up like he did with Barrett? No way. Don't come over here. We will definitely stay here well. After passing the power of the fusion fruit to Admiral Zephyr, 
Lin Hao immediately looked at the prisoners in other cells with ill intentions. All the prisoners couldn't help but feel a chill down their spines after being looked at by Lin Hao. In the next hour, the screams of the prisoners on the sixth floor of the entire Impel Down city continued. Although Lin Hao had explained in advance that they would not suffer as long as they did not resist, how could the prisoners who did not know Lin Hao's background allow Lin Hao to use his unknown abilities on them? Therefore, every time Lin Hao arrived at a cell, a fierce conflict would inevitably break out. During this process, Colonel T. Bone of the Navy Headquarters and Vice Admiral Ghost Spider of the Navy Headquarters were basically watching the show the whole time. Because all the prisoners on the sixth floor of the Impel Down City were once famous pirates on the Grand Line. They could not handle any of them at random. Therefore, it was basically the Warden Magellan and Admiral Zeffa who took action. Those they could not handle would be handed over directly to Lin Hao. For those prisoners who were not capable. Lin Hao would directly take out their mental discs, write some instructions, and then put them back intact. For those prisoners with abilities, Lin Hao would directly use the substitute white snake to seize their abilities. Of course, the instructions imposed on the mental discs were also necessary. It took less than an hour. There was only one cell left in the sixth floor of the entire Impel Downs that had not been entered. That was the cell where the Fire Fist Ace was imprisoned. In that cell, the Navy hero Garp, who had made mistakes before, was also imprisoned. Lin Hao learned from Magellan that this request was made by Garp himself, just to be with his grandson. Ha ha ha. The supervisor actually came to such a place, you guys really made quite a commotion. Lin Hao hadn't even reached the outside of the cell yet. Garp's thunderous laughter reached everyone's ears. After signaling Magellan to open the cell door. Lin Hao walked over and sat next to 063, the Navy hero Garp. Garp at this moment was very different from the one he had seen before. Ever since he was defeated by Lin Hao, the invincible belief that had always been in Garp's heart had completely collapsed. In addition, his adopted grandson was beaten into this state and taken to impel down. He felt even more uncomfortable in his heart. Although Garp was very old in the past, it was only on his face. Who dared to underestimate the aura that the Navy hero exuded from the inside out? Although he was already he is over 70 years old. But the fighting power he displays is exactly the peak of his youth. Of course, in terms of physical strength and combat endurance. Garp is still a lot worse than when he was young. But in the original work, he shouted that he wanted to kill a Kainu. It was definitely not just empty talk. But now. How can the former Navy hero Garp still have such domineering? Not only is his hair thinner than before. Even his face has a few more vicissitudes. He doesn't look like a Navy hero now. He is just an old man who is dying at any time. Of course, all this must be related to the previous excessive use of life return. He used up the energy accumulated for decades in one go. It will inevitably bring a certain backlash to the body, AJFG. You could have waited in the office for a few days and then went back. Looking at the greatly changed Garp, not only Zeffa and the Navy generals who were ordered by Lin Hao felt a little bit reluctant. Even Lin Hao's tone was much softer when he spoke to the other party. Now he is not a vice admiral of the Navy, nor a naval hero. He is just an old man who wants to accompany his grandson at the last moment. You are joking, Mr. Supervisor. These are all my own requests. In response to Lin Hao's persuasion, Karp just smiled bitterly and shook his head. If I could spend more time with this guy, maybe today wouldn't be the situation. At this moment, Garp was filled with regret. For both Ace and Luffy. He was obviously a hero of the Navy. But he did not bring his grandson with him but gave him to be raised by bandits. If he had brought them with him since they were young, and demanded them as seriously as he did Kobe and Belmer. Then, would there be two more happy people in the Navy who were fooling around every day but brought countless happiness? Now that things have come to this, everything is just Garp's imagination. Now all he can do is to spend as much time as possible with his grandson. After all, he still could not live up to the trust of Roger, who is both his enemy and friend. What is the supervisor doing in this cell? It shouldn't be just to chat, right? After a while of silence. Garp finally remembered to ask Lin how the purpose of coming here. Although he is now very old, his voice is still loud and his tone is much more frank. 
Obviously, although the time is not long, during this time with his grandson, he still figured out a lot of things. Now, the secret that he has guarded for many years has been completely revealed. Whether the result is good or bad, it is a relief for this naval hero. The decision on your punishment has already been made. Lin Hao did not speak. As for persuading Garp to fight in the war on the top, it is more appropriate to persuade Garp to go to the top. Zepha, an old friend who has a deep friendship with Garp. Will you imprison me in Impel Down for life, or will you execute me and my grandson together at the Navy headquarters? Karp was stunned when he heard that the punishment for him had come to an end. Then he asked his old friend with a wry smile. Giving the pirates who caused trouble on Judicial Island a breakout. Secretly harboring the blood of Pirate King Roger. The tragic deaths of more than a hundred pregnant women twenty years ago. These things are all unforgivable crimes. And each one of them is closely related to him. As for how the higher-ups will punish him, Carp will not be surprised by the result. The Navy headquarters has not announced your relationship with Ace. What did you say? After hearing Zephyr's words with a hint of joy in his tone, Garp was stunned at first. Then he showed an extremely shocked expression on his face. The fact that Ace the Fire Fist was his grandson was basically known to the senior officials of the Navy headquarters. But this matter was limited to the Navy. There were basically few pirates and civilians who knew about this. If this news was not announced to the public, what reason would the Navy use to punish him? Looking at Garp's puzzled eyes, Zephyr stepped forward and patted him on the shoulder. Cap, you don't know this yet, do you? This time the Marine Headquarters is going to fight a war, and the opponents are very likely to be two four Emperor's level pirate groups. Here's your chance to make a contribution. What did you say? Two four Emperor's level pirate groups. Zephyr was very excited, and directly informed his old friend of the decision of all the naval commanders at the previous conference to let Garp participate in the war at the top to make amends for his crime. Garp had a blank expression on his face throughout the whole process. It was not because he was dissatisfied with the decision to punish him. But he was shocked that he had to watch his grandson being publicly executed at the headquarters of the Navy. And those who came to save his grandson. He had to fight them personally. This approach was really too heavy for Garp, a hero of the Navy. But Garp, the ace of the headquarters of the Navy, was very clear about his position. Therefore, even if he felt very uncomfortable in his heart, he agreed without any hesitation. After all, everything was caused by himself. He would end it all with his own hands. There was absolutely nothing to say. I can understand this kind of thing. After a long silence, Karp asked the question in his mind. If it's just a notification, then you can come alone, right? Since you are not here to punish me, why did you condescend to come to this impel down city? Because I have other things to do, Lin Hao did not intend to hide the question from the Navy hero Garp. He walked to Ace, who was tied to the wall and still unconscious, and gave instructions directly to the substitute White Snake. Although Garp could not see Lin Hao's substitute, he knew that Lin Hao must be using a special ability on Ace that even he, a Navy hero, did not know. Garp was not worried about this approach, because the meeting above had clearly stated that Ace must be executed at the Navy headquarters in Marinford. Lin Hao would definitely not attack Ace here. A few seconds later, a CD with a golden spiral fruit cover appeared in Lin Hao's hand. This is. Flame Flame Fruit. After seeing the disc in Lin Hao's hand, the Navy hero Garp immediately saw the familiar fruit on the disc cover. Ace was his grandson, so he naturally knew that Ace used the ability of the flame flame fruit. He had also investigated the appearance of the flame flame fruit. Seeing his grandson's fruit appear on the disc in Lin Hao's hand, the Navy hero was shocked and speechless. That's right. This is my ability. I can take away the ability of the fruit of the ability user. Facing the shocked Garp, Lin Hao smiled slightly and directly put the ability disc of the flame flame fruit into his mind. As Lin Hao put the disc of the flame flame fruit into his brain, Lin Hao suddenly felt an extremely magical power in his body. This power appeared very quickly. Then it quickly dissolved into Lin Hao's body. The next moment, Lin Hao's mind moved. He was instantly surrounded by flames. The scorching heat filled the entire cell in the first place. Look at Lin Hao again. His whole body is surrounded by countless dazzling flames. The flames rolled up and down, without any harm to Lin Hao. 
It was like countless subjects were crowding around the new king to take the throne. This. What kind of ability is this? You actually used the power of the flame flame fruit for yourself. Looking at Lin Hao, whose entire body was on fire in an instant, and then he immediately controlled the flames to disappear, the navy hero Garp widened his eyes in surprise. Even his jaw was about to drop to the ground in shock. This is my ability. Ace is no longer the user of the flame flame fruit. In other words, all prisoners on the sixth floor of Impel Down are no longer capable people. Lin Hao smiled slightly. He casually took out dozens of fruit ability discs from his arms. This scene petrified the navy hero Garp again. The big commotion on the sixth floor of Impel Down just now was Lin Hao trying to seize the fruit abilities of those legendary pirates. What if Lin Hao had the fruit abilities of all the prisoners on the sixth floor of Impel Down? That would be too scary. The prisoners on the sixth floor of Impel Down were all great pirates who were once famous on the Grand Line. Most of their fruit abilities were extremely powerful. If their fruits were extracted to arm the navy, it would definitely create several more powerful people at the vice emperor level or even the emperor level in a short period of time. So does the navy still need to be afraid of the four emperors? When Garp first heard that they were going to fight two pirate groups at the level of the four emperors, he agreed without hesitation. But he didn't have much hope of winning this war. Even if they could barely win in the end, it would probably be a miserable victory. But now. Garp looked at the supervisor in front of him who was less than 20 years old. For some reason, a sense of fear from the depths of his blood suddenly filled his whole body. Now he knew why the supervisor in front of him could become the 10th strongest person in the Knights. When he fought with him before, he definitely held back on this old man. After all, when he fought with him, he did not use any fruit ability. Are you confident of the Navy's victory now? Well. I won't question the strength of the navy. This victory belongs to the navy after all. Facing Lin Hao's question, Garp lowered his head in admiration. And Lin Hao also smiled slightly. He directly inserted the scabbard Avalon into Garp's body. In just a few seconds, Garp's limbs broken by Lin Hao quickly regenerated. The originally withered body also quickly recovered to its peak state before the injury. At this time, Garp looked at Lin Hao. There was no more contempt in his eyes. After recovering to his peak state, the face of this navy hero suddenly turned red and white. It seemed that he had something to say, but was embarrassed to say it directly. After all, he had offended Lin Hao many times before. Mr. Cap, if you have anything to say, just say it directly. In front of a common enemy, we should not have any estrangement or selfishness. Looking at Garp's hesitant look, Lin Hao smiled slightly and signaled him to speak directly. Obviously, Garp now understands a lot of things. Even though he knew that his grandson Ace would be executed in public by the Navy. Although he was sad in his heart, he had no idea of objection. For Garp who was ready to fight to the death for the Navy. Lin Hao could appropriately meet the requirements of this Navy hero. Garp looked at Lin Hao. After being stunned for a few seconds, he finally mustered up the courage to speak directly. Sir, if it is possible, I would like to use the power of the fruit of the lonely red baroque. It's just a temporary use. I think if I can regain my youth, it will definitely be a great help to the navy. Do you want to use the power of the lone red? After hearing the request from the navy hero Garp, Lin Hao, Zepha and the warden Magellan were all stunned. The Lone Red Baroque is a character who did not appear in the original One Piece. However, his setting is extremely powerful. Before this guy ate the devil fruit, he was praised by the Navy commander Sengoku as a lone king who could compete with the two major pirate groups of Whitebeard and Roger with his own strength. When he was young, he defeated Steel Bone. Sora, who is still the Navy commander at the time. Although he thinks he is not as good as Roger and Whitebeard, no one can deny such a powerful combat power. As for his fruit ability power. One is the bat fruit. Mythical beast. Vampire form. Its ability is to restore itself to youth by sucking the blood and lifespan of others. This recovery is not only about appearance. Even the body functions and abilities can be restored to the youthful period. And the other one is that it can create darkness at night to hide itself. The degree of hiding can even deceive the observation hockey to a certain extent. Garp himself is already a hero of the navy. His ability has basically reached a bottleneck. 
if he is given a devil fruit, maybe he can really break through some of the current shackles. Anyway, the ability is just lent to him casually. There shouldn't be any problem. After all, in the original work, although Garp felt sorry for Ace, he also stood firmly on the side of the Navy and finally participated in the top battle. What bad thoughts would there be about Garp? Lin Hao really didn't think so. After thinking about it for a while, Lin Hao put the disc of the bat fruit, the mythical beast, and the vampire form into Garp's mind without hesitation. As for whose blood to absorb to make this navy hero rejuvenate. This is not a big problem. After all, this is the sixth floor of Impel Down. There are many strong pirates to choose from. And among the navy heroes after the male Garp regained his youth, Lin Hao directly pulled out the disc of the fruit ability. Seeing Garp who became young in an instant, Magellan and Zephyr were all envious. But when Lin Hao asked if he needed to borrow the power of this fruit to restore his youth, the two of them waved their hands and refused. They knew very well what state their own strength was in. Especially Zephyr, he had no idea of restoring his youth. In his words, if he could see his young appearance in the mirror every day, he would unconsciously recall the dark time when his wife was killed and his students were massacred. As for Admiral Zephyr, Lin Hao, there was no reluctance. But the Warden Magellan, after learning the content of the instructions that Lin Hao had given to all the prisoners on the mental disc, directly expressed the hope that Lin Hao would temporarily extract his fruit ability and use it in the war at the top. He would return it to him after using it. Although the poison poison fruit has very strong side effects. It will make the ability user have diarrhea for more than half of the day. But no one can deny its combat power. In the original work, when Blackbeard and his gang broke into the Impel Down, they were defeated by the poison dragon of the Warden Magellan. If it weren't for the traitor Xilu of Rain who brought the antidote to rescue Blackbeard and his gang, there would be no such thing as the new Four Emperors Blackbeard in the world two years later. Of course, Magellan said that it was for the sake of the upcoming war against the two emperors. But in fact, he also had his own little thoughts. He has been enduring the side effects of the poison poison fruit for several years. He is really a little tired. Let him relax for a few days, just as if he were giving himself a holiday. During the time when Lin Hao and his group went down to the sixth floor of the Impel Down. Magellan has gone to the toilet four times. He still has a mobile toilet that can make him have diarrhea anytime and anywhere. Otherwise, Lin Hao's work of collecting devil fruits on the sixth floor would not be so smooth. Lin Hao naturally knew Magellan's thoughts. After thinking again and again, Lin Hao still extracted the power of the poison poison fruit from the body of the warden Magellan. As for who will take this fruit power with great side effects? Zepha decided. Among his reliable students, the draw decided, all the work was done. Lin Hao and others were ready to take the warship directly to leave Impel down. As for the Navy hero Garp, although he is currently a sinner, as the main force of the Navy in the war, he is still qualified to participate in the combat meeting against the two four emperors with a group of Navy generals. But surprisingly, Garp, who had regained his youth, did not choose to follow Lin Hao back to the Navy headquarters. Instead, he continued to stay on the sixth floor of Impel Down. He said that he would return to the Navy headquarters with Ace when he was taken away before the war began. This old man, who had regained his youth in body but still had a heavy heart, wanted to accompany his grandson as much as possible at the last moment of his life. After all, as a grandfather, he owed Ace too much. 4. Just after returning to the Navy headquarters, Lin Hao was informed that an important event had occurred on Sabayati Island. The remnants of Straw Hat Luffy's gang were on Sabayati Island. They actually beat up the Celestial Dragons and they beat up three of them in a row. What is the identity of the celestial dragons? They are called gods by ordinary people. Their safety is the responsibility of the admiral of the navy headquarters. Dare to openly attack them at an extremely important transit station on the grand route like Sabayati Island. This is not just a simple beating of the celestial dragons. It is also a direct slap in the face of the world government and the admirals of the navy headquarters. This incident directly alarmed the five elders. They asked the world government to immediately send an admiral to deal with the matter. The Straw Hat Gang must be thoroughly arrested and brought to justice. This not only involves the face of the world government, but also the dignity of the celestial dragons. 
if even the criminals who openly attack the celestial dragons and attack three celestial dragons in a row do not receive the punishment they deserve, who will take the celestial dragons seriously in the future. So, this time it is not just about dealing with it. They must be dealt with severely. Not only the straw hat pirates must be taken to impel down. All the pirates of the, 337, on Sabayati Island cannot escape. Sengoku got the news. He immediately took it seriously. There was nothing to say, and he directly summoned the admirals of the navy headquarters. Originally, there were four admirals in the navy headquarters. But now Sengoku can only mobilize two. Zephyr was taken to impel down by Supervisor Lin Hao and has not returned yet. As for the other Kazaru, he was punched away by Lin Hao because of his negative thoughts at the meeting. When the people of the Navy headquarters found this slacking admiral on a small island dozens of miles away from Marinford, they were shocked to find that this admiral with the ability of the natural fruit was actually beaten deeply into the ground. All the bones in his body were broken, and he lost consciousness with his eyes rolled up. Even though Kazaru is an admiral and has a physical fitness far beyond that of ordinary people, if Supervisor Lin Hao does not use that special method to treat him, then he will have to rest for at least half a month before his injury can be completely healed. Of course, at that time, the Navy headquarters and the two four emperors pirate groups officially went to war. This time, Kazaru could be excused from work openly. But the price was really too high. Now in front of the Navy Marshal Sengoku, there are only two admirals who can be mobilized, Akainu and Aokiji. Anyway, it's a choice between the two. Sengoku doesn't plan to buy a lawsuit. Recently, 11 supernovas appeared and caused quite a stir. Of course, the Zoro in the story has been captured by the supervisor and taken to impel down. There are only 10 so-called supernovas left. This time, since it is the general who is taking action, this matter must be done beautifully. Who of you two will take action and capture them all? Even if we take a step back, we can let a few of the other supernovas go, but we must catch the straw hat boy who attacked the celestial dragons. After hearing Sengoku's order, Akainu and Aokiji all had extremely gloomy expressions on their faces. Akainu's idea was to maintain the dignity of the navy. It would be fine if he didn't go, but if he went, all the supernovas must be caught in one fell swoop. How could there be a situation like taking a step back as Sengoku said? His face was gloomy, just because the admirals of the navy headquarters had become a laughing stock among the pirates. If the celestial dragons were attacked somewhere else and the admirals couldn't take care of them, then of course there was nothing to say. But now, the celestial dragons were actually attacked directly on Sabayati Island, an important place under the nose of the navy headquarters. Where can the admirals of the navy headquarters put their faces? The behavior of the straw hat pirates was simply a slap in the face of these admirals. As for Aokiji, his thoughts are much more complicated. According to the duties of the admiral of the navy headquarters, he must go and deal with such a thing. But the situation is different now. The pirate who beat up three celestial dragons is Garp's grandson, Straw Hat Luffy. If he was really sent there, what should he do? Should he ignore the relationship between Garp and himself as a master and apprentice and directly capture the straw hat boy and bring him back to impel down? He has committed such a serious crime. Once he is caught, he will definitely be sentenced to death. Now Aokiji only hopes that the admiral of the marine headquarters, Sengoku, will not ask him to carry out this mission. Fortunately, judging from the current situation, Sengoku wants them to take the initiative to stand up. Sure enough. After a moment of silence, the admiral of the marine headquarters, Akainu, stood up directly. Let me go there. Previously in the Seven Water Capital, the supervisor did not catch the straw hat pirates in one fell swoop. This time, let me complete the unfinished work of the supervisor. Eleven supernovas. This title sounds awesome. But in the eyes of the admirals of the navy, they are just a few small pirates who made a name for themselves in the first half of the Grand Line. Their names are loud. Can any one of them defeat the seven warlords of the sea? They are just eleven lambs to be slaughtered. They can be killed directly. He looked at Admiral Akainu who volunteered. He also looked at Admiral Aokiji who had been silent. Sengoku, who had long been a shrewd man, instantly understood the thoughts of the two. It would be better to let Akainu, the hawk in the navy, deal with it. 
so that other admirals would not consider Garp's face and do something weird. All right. Then let Akainu go. Be quick and decisive like doing things, go and come back quickly. Don't worry, I'll arrange the warships now, I'll be back soon. After receiving the order from Admiral Sengoku, Akainu stood up and was about to go out. As a result, he had just opened the door of the office. He almost bumped into Lin Hao who had returned from Impel Down. I already know what happened. This time I will go with Akainu and Zephyr. Let's finish the work that was not completed in Seven Waters in Sabayati Archipelago. Hey! The supervisor is going to the Sabayati Archipelago. Admiral Akainu and Admiral Sengoku of the Navy headquarters were all shocked when they heard Lin Hao's words. Then they looked at Admiral Aokiji who had not spoken. He was surprised at first. Then he showed a helpless bitter smile. The combination of Admiral Akainu and Supervisor Lin Hao, plus an experienced Admiral Zephyr. If the Straw Hat Pirates can still escape from the Sabayati Archipelago this time, it will definitely be the sun rising from the west. That's right. I have something else to do. Even if the Straw Hat Pirates incident hadn't happened, I would still go to the Sabayati Archipelago. This time, capturing the Straw Hat Pirates was just a way to complete something that was not completed before, Lin Hao did not hide anything from Sengoku and Akainu's questions. Ever since he obtained the substitute White Snake and successfully conducted the experiment of seizing the fruit ability, he had the idea of going to Sabayati Island to hunt supernovas. Capturing people is secondary, and seizing their fruit abilities is the main thing. And just as Lin Hao was on his way back to the Navy headquarters on a warship, Lin Hao, who had completed the collection work in Impel Down, received a system notification sound again. This time, the fruit collection work in Impel Down allowed him to harvest a huge amount of fear value. These fear values came from the Navy hero Garp, but most of them were there from the sixth floor, those pirates who were once famous all over the world. This time, Lin Hao's fear value reached 200,000. There is still 200,000 thousandths progress to the next treasure chest reward. Lin Hao wants to try to see if he can get the system's treasure chest reward before the start of the war on the top. In that case, the battle chances of the Navy headquarters and the two four emperors pirate groups will undoubtedly be greater. Of course, after learning that Akainu will go to Sabayati Island to arrest the Straw Hat pirates. Lin Hao still thinks he should stay by his side to supervise. Akainu is different from Kazaru, who is a lazy guy. If he is asked to catch pirates, he will never let them go. But this guy Akainu has a trick. Akainu has a very troublesome shortcoming. That is, he is often too absolute when performing tasks. He does not care about the feelings of others at all. If Akainu arrested the Straw Hat pirates alone this time, the result is very likely that the Straw Hat pirates will be successfully sent to impel down. But the zero. Seven civilians on Sabayati Island are more likely to be affected. These days, Lin Hao has also heard about many of Akainu's previous deeds. This guy always puts the mission first. Sometimes in order to complete the tasks assigned by his superiors, this guy completely disregards the lives of his subordinates. Although such a rigid style will have a certain effect. But since Lin Hao is already here, it is necessary to take into account the feelings of the people to the greatest extent. Give Akainu some appropriate restrictions are also very necessary. Once the Straw Hat pirates are captured, the innocent civilians on Sabayati Island will complain. That would be putting the cart before the horse. Looking at Lin Hao's determined eyes, Akainu, who has always been outspoken in upholding absolute justice, suddenly became energetic. Turning around, he found that the new supervisor of the Navy headquarters had a style of work that was really to his liking. Since the supervisor was accompanying him this time, he must perform well. In this way, both parties boarded the warship to Sabayati Island with different moods. Sitting at the front of the deck of the warship, Lin Hao couldn't help but smile bitterly. He was really busy coming to the Navy headquarters as an inspector. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.